Welcome, Abrax's Precipice, episode 22. Whew. Night. Uh, We're in for it. Last we left off, the group was in a world of hurt. But we'll get back to that here in a second. Uh, we are uh, Abrax's Precipice, the expanse role-playing game actual play. Uh, the game is put up by Green Run Publishing. Um, thank you for coming out and hanging out with us tonight and uh, enjoying this adventure. Uh, it's been a wild ride, and we'll see if it's the, the end of the ride for some of our uh crew members here um tonight actually we have another we have a giveaway as we tend to do and tonight's giveaway is going to be this cool set of patches a whole set so you got a Tycho patch we all like Tycho. we have an agatha king patch the unn we have an mcrn patch can't go wrong and we have a opa navy patch uh tonight's word is <gasps> players uh, players <laughs> uh, put the word players into the chat and you will be entered to win uh, that whole set of patches so please go ahead and do that tonight nice I, don't, I didn't come with anything creative what you guys said earlier was a much better idea <laughs> um, but uh, we, get, we have all that going on uh, in addition we also have uh, we have our November goal of of trying to hit 100 subs, but that's going to be kind of hard because we don't have a lot, 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 lot of games left here in November and uh, we're only at a, uh, like a handful of them. But we want to give out this copy of the Expanse board game, a lot of fun. I've got to play it uh, lately, but uh, it's probably going to be hard because we got Heroes Quest now, so uh, <laughs> there's going to be, there's a, that's, a hard, that's a hard game to beat uh, in terms of nostalgia feel. Uh, in addition, you can also support us on our um, Patreon. Uh, we just posted up, actually, we have a big announcement at the end of the stream tonight. We posted it early up on the um, Patreon for uh, those folks. And we got some new Patreons this week, so thank you for those that uh, have joined up. That was super cool of you. Nice. Um, can't go wrong with that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be going. But we, at the end of the stream, though, at the end of the, the game, we have a big announcement to make. Uh, we're going to go and kind of show you it. Uh, isn't this going to be us telling? We got, I got some there's, there's visuals visual aids um so that'll be fun to kind of take a look at here and such but um and thank you guys a new chat people uh that are joining in to uh enter the giveaway very cool of you um all right let's go ahead and start it up so last we left off the crew had like straight up taken an assault like that up down to summarize it that was it all right now we're, okay so now you guys are done <laughs> but, um, um you uh i you, you were basically geared up to assault uh, one of Spatch and Pope's bases that you found here on Luna um, in an abandoned aluminum processing factory. Um, in it, you found a variety of experiments, similar pods to what you had seen on uh, way early in your journeys on Herculina. Um, you had spoke to Pope, and he had tricked you into an ambush, which you managed to survive, having killed three of his uh, security along with... Um, Few, we'll say a few uh, collateral casualties 
uh, were there too as well. Um, you've taken shelter in one of the uh, empty dormitories for the scientists here on this in this uh, base. Uh, get a quick breather. Uh, you've managed to patch up and to cease the bleeding uh, of one Wyatt Thompson who has been heavily injured. Did he almost get injured? Uh, I was wounded. Yeah, you got we wounded. all got a grenade exploded on us, so we all took some damage, I think. Well, I mean, did, you get, yeah. did, you, did you get wounded or injured? Was my question. That's like that's oh, that's the big oh, trip. Oh, oh. Yeah. Because gotcha. until you take one of those, you're not actually hurt. You're still kind of sweating it off. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. three right now for my rolls because of that. I uh, correct. Yeah, you have minus three to all your checks. Uh, you are not in good shape, but um, you are now uh, kind of taking a, took a breather for a few minutes. The air cleared out a little bit. Uh, the air recyclers are kicking in, getting rid of all the crap in the air from being kicked around. The um, the elevator you guys came through is completely ruined. Uh, you can certainly try to cut through it or something like that if you really wanted to. But there is still a door uh, down the hall where the, or the dormitories where the three guards did retreat um, after you had a firefight with them. Um, the only other thing you really lost was like why your armor was just completely shredded. Like it was uh, in the salt, it's no longer useful. Um, but uh, Onyx and Jack Rabbit and uh, actually we'll say Onyx and Myrtle. While while Jack Rabbit's patching up uh, Wyatt. Um, you notice that there are like the, the bodies on the ground, the three guards you guys did like manage to either, you're not sure if you killed them or if you just um, basically tore them up. Uh, but you know, like you could probably put together another set of armor if you wanted to from their gear. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's grab this, uh, let's grab, grab the bodies, uh, grab any pieces you see, Myrtle, and uh, see if we can uh, put, uh, get some protection. Yeah? Yeah, we could do that. I mean, I, I've still got my armor. Yeah. Uh, we could uh, make sure that you get Jackrabbit and Wyatt. Yeah. So we can replace some of Wyatt's pieces. Yeah, Wyatt, I think Wyatt's whole set is done. It's, it's, oh. it's, I mean, it is like done. And like you guys also probably cut it up and everything to get it off him quickly. Yeah. So I'm going to say that armor is. Oh, yeah. Maybe we put gone. it on Wyatt. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'll just start pulling bodies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, I think, think you, this armor would fit you, though, Onyx, if you wanted to try to like suit up. I mean, is there enough? There's enough to get one set of armor that would be completely functional uh, for another one of you guys. Oh, another one of us. If you're welcome to try to put Wyatt in it, but Wyatt's not in fighting shape is what I'm trying to get at, I guess. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, okay, I mean, uh, I could put this, I could start fitting this on. Uh, if I mean, if anybody wants it, uh, I just start stripping the guards. <laughs> like, I think I got an arm here, it might fit. Let's rip off his arm. I think this is a hand of somebody. Yeah, you pull the you pull the bodies out of it. Um, they're they're either dead or dying while you do this. Um, there's a fair amount of blood. You go see the splatter of like the one scientist you guys threw out in the area, and there's also like the uh, the one guy that guided you up here, Doctor Master, who was just completely annihilated in the initial assault. Um, but uh, looking around though, like there's no activity on the other side of the door. You can see where like there's gunshots at the door, and there's like a damage to the bulkheads and and the the door, but it's still holding. Like like you guys destroy it or anything like that. And I'm like tying off like um, Wyatt's thing. Probably mm -hmm. a little too roughly. Not a good bedside manner. Uh, I told you Big Pampa not to get hurt like that and I call out Hey, they keep throwing grenades at us. Any chance any of those coils out there the dead ones have any grenade on them that we can take? That'd be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Useful. It'd be much more useful than them blowing us up. Yeah, do I we, we, do I see anything as a searching? Uh... Uh, give me a searching check. Let's see if you can find anything that's in, intact on these guys. Perception. Okay. Uh, okay. So perception. One. Uh, ten. Thirteen. Three on the drama. Thirteen. Um, yeah, you find that they have a uh, single uh, like intact. Still, there's one single st uh, stun grenade. Okay. Hey, I throw it to uh, Jack Rabbit. Look what I found. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't throw those things around. It might go boom again, hey? I didn't pull it, though. <laughs> <laughs> grenade, huh? Yeah, stun grenade. It's I like, like a... I look at uh, Wyatt and I go, you never taught me how to use one of these things, but I guess I just throw, uh, unhook this thing and just throw it at them, eh? Throw it hard as you can. Okay. All right. Just All right. that's not us. At them. 
You, don't tell me that. Tell Onyx. He the one yeah, that put the true. bomb in that uh, <laughs> elevator when you're in there, you know? <laughs> I, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, you went the wrong way. <laughs> the only way I could go. I'm glad you're okay, though. We'll make it through this. We got to figure out where they went, though. <clears throat> Once I'm able to get up, I want to go to that other door and kind of check it out. Um, you go and take a look at it real quick, and uh, it's a standard security door. Um, it looks like it doesn't look like they they locked it, um, but they definitely closed it up. I mean, it can be easily opened. It looks like just standard button to push. Think cameras around? Uh, yeah, there's like cameras in the hallway. Uh, that clearly look like they're still watching us, like they're intact, kind of. Um, they're like little, they're like little pods, they're maybe this big, and it's like a little glass piece. You're guessing there's, I mean, there could be someone in there looking. Yeah, and I just see. look, I like nod at Myrtle, and I go, "You got your taser? Maybe you blow out those those uh, cameras, so at least it, they don't see what we're doing." Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Got me a little stun gun. <laughs> Yeah, you go up and you you shoot a taser in one of these things and it, it zaps the thing and you, you can hear like the the camera pop that's really not that hard to do yeah what else can we do before we go there when we go down there they know that we're coming but yeah the only other way to go up the elevator is shaft huh but i don't know if a big pompa here can climb like that yeah right, we're willing to give it a try <laughs> i could cut it open and we could at least take a peek and go a different way but yeah the, i guess it is risky one of us, big pump of my fall. I don't know what room, what's more risky, walking in the front door or at least yeah. like trying for the back door. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, you're guessing that like these guys did come through that door, so you're guessing that that's like the heart of the station. Yeah, yeah. which if that's the heart of the <laughs> station, then all the blood come flowing right to us if we open up that door, right? Fair enough. Or oh, we How clog it up. Well, how many meat shields do we have on the floor here? Yeah. Um, you, you start looking around, and there's like there's still two guys in the room with you. Um, and then in addition, like as far as you can tell, the other rooms look like you haven't checked yet, but like probably about half of them are occupied. Right, I think we should uh, wake a couple of these uh, scientists up and send them that way and see if they get mowed down first. Yeah, yeah, that's a, I I like that idea. Hey, maybe I could pretend I'm a god with this armor on and just be like, hey, y'all get up and y'all go down there. I don't think you can pretend to be a god. They've been watching us with the cameras, man. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, you still... Guys that are with us, you know, it's like, they don't know that. <laughs> but we could at least send a, send those uh, coils in there and then we can throw this grenade in too. Maybe that do something at least. Alright, let's go, let's go round them up. Let's go round these coyos up and uh, we'll send them on the way to become burritos. Alright, so you guys kind of like... And who's going to take the door first? Alright, let's get some of the scientists. We're going to get some of the scientists first. Uh, Alright, so you, you, you go up on the doors and like, you know, it opens up no problem. Uh, these guys are kind of in there sleeping, whatever, uh, taking it easy. And they... they there was a commotion outside and they kind of like look as you come up to them and they're like hey uh they're like time to evacuate oh uh yes uh make a make a deception check on that onyx give me uh communications on that since you're, you're the one posing here i got plus two yeah and i'm in the gear you know i think there's a plus one here in the gear so plus four all right oh my god oh no <laughs> I rolled two ones and a two. <laughs> okay. So I got a four plus a plus four. I got an eight. They they look at you strangely and go, "You're not the, you're not, you're not on duty right now. Where, where's Williams? He should be here today. Or yes, Williams should be the one. Why are you here? Because Williams is dead on the floor, and I'm just a, like a, the, the fourth guy down the line. <laughs> so you and I come in there and I'm guy. like, Yeah, you run he he all full of shit, but uh, you better go talk to big boss man up there. So they, yeah, he's yeah, calling everybody. And, and are you doing anything when you come in there, Jackrabbit? Are you waving a gun around, or what do you do? I'm like kicking the beds. Like, okay, okay wake up, wake up, the, you gotta go to work. The, the beds were like no mounted, they're sleeping. mounted to the walls or anything, but like, yeah, you kind of kick them, and they're, they're like, okay, like they stand up, they have their hands up, they're like, they're like, what is, what is happening here? Uh, 
What is happening? Work time, it's work time, and I'm disappointed to okay. win that. And they, they start kind of like walking out as, as the guns are being waved around and stuff like that. They walk out of the hallway, and they, they see the bodies, and they're kind of like, okay. And they, they look towards the elevator, and like, we can't, how do how, we can't no, go no, down? You gotta go way. up that way. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. What's up that way anyway? That's the that's the security station where the where they the uh, observations uh, and uh, Mr. Pope's offices. Oh yeah, yeah, Mr. Pope, he the one who want to talk to you. I just didn't know they said to send you up that way because of the elevators. You can see it bad. They kind of take a second and like they look around and they're they're like very they don't believe you at all. Like they this whole circumstance is way out of line for them. Okay, I'm uh, gonna walk up to them and just go, hey guys, look, um, I know this is confusing and with the bodies and stuff, but it's not safe for you, so we need to get you up where the security is. So why don't y'all come with us and let's go be safe up there. We'll be right after you. Okay. They uh, they kind of take a second and they're like, okay. And they, um, they kind of slowly start walking to the door. They look at the door and one of them like pushed the button and the the door opens up into like a much larger room, actually, all things considered. Um, and you can like see what looks to be like a like a big like a kind of a big console system in the room, along with like several wall consoles. And looks like there's some there's some other rooms and another like few doors on the other on the far end. Um, and they're they kind of look at there and they're like they look back at you guys and like where are all the guards? Did you guys kill them all? And like like they're like they're kind of freaked out. They're like there should be like there should be guards outside this door. Uh oh, that's that, you know what? Maybe you guys should just keep moving. Maybe you were behind them. Uh, why right. don't we just keep moving? Because we want to get right. you guys to somewhere to safe. Because there's terrible yeah. people in so, here. So as they as they kind of like start looking in the room, like kind of poke, like they're they're kind of acting like like it's like asking your friend to go into his parents' room when he's not supposed to, he's not supposed to go in his parents' room. Like they're like really hesitant, and they kind of one of them pokes his head in the room, and all of a sudden you start hearing gunfire. But like, and they panic and they start running back towards you. But the gunfire is like muffled; it's not coming from that room. It's like further down, further out in that ways. But then, then they're like, "Oh my god!" And they start they start freaking out, going back for the rooms and everything. Oh, not that way! Come back this way. You gotta go this way because the bad guys are behind us. Unless you want to like, unless you want to sh- pull your gun and shoot one of them, like they're gonna keep on running back. Just gonna keep going. Like, Can we just grab one as like? Yeah, you grab. He's like, oh, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like what's going on? He's like, this is. You we didn't start for this. Wait, no, we gotta go. He's like, we gotta save the data. We gotta go downstairs. <laughs> uh-huh. No, it's okay. Let them do that. But I need your help. I need your help so we can save everybody from the bad people. Otherwise, you uh, can't he, get any more. He looks, he's done, like, you know? uh, and Onyx, uh, make a Onyx, make a grapple check. Make a fighting check. Okay. So fighting. Okay. Plus two. Okay. Two twos and a one. So five. Pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Like as you grab this guy, and he's like he's like kind of panicking. You can hear him like huffing and puffing. Uh, you're not sure where he got it from, but he pulls a scalpel and sticks it in your thigh uh, for four damage. It doesn't go into it doesn't go past the armor of your of your of your riot pads, but there's now like a scalpel sticking out of your thigh. I'm gonna punch the guy in the face. All right, give me a fighting check with your mighty p- minus three to hit. Somebody take the scalpel. Come on, eat it. <laughs> Good thing I put that arm Oh off. yeah, I could use a thing like that to yank it out of there. I got four. Yeah, you 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 try to like you try to like square up and like you can't like you're you're too you're too much of an ellipt- elliptoid. I'm gonna say to the guy, hey hey look, calm down, calm down. You're gonna be a hero. You're gonna be the hero. Of He's the like world. freaking out. He's yeah, like struggling to get away. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. You're gonna be fine. Williams, he went that way. The guy. All right. Uh, you guys keep on hearing the gunfire come from like it sounds like another room over or something like that. I'm gonna start heading my way that way. I'm heading that way. Okay. So we have like, so Wyatt's like hobbling down the hall, holding his legs. Boy, big papa, why you always gotta put your body up front, huh? In the back now. You ain't got no armor on. Shit. Onyx. And I look at Onyx who has an armor, <laughs> and I'm like, you're dead now. Onyx. I'm like me. You want me? Oh yeah, yeah. I went on my right. <laughs> I'm usually like not fighting, yeah. So I, I like I'll scoot up now that I realize like, oh yeah, I guess I'm the new, the new meat shield. <laughs> Carry me that. And I, and I'm like I'm like moving Wyatt along and letting Myrtle and Onyx go up front, and I'd be like, 
we got to live how to better live. We just let others go in front, right? This yeah. is how we survive. All of us, we're going to get out of this big combo. We're going to get out of this alive, but we need you to just hold on. Don't waste your energy trying to punch some foil with a scalpel right. like that, huh? So, are you guys going to let these scientists just run, like, back to the rooms? Or some of them are trying to figure out a way down the elevator shaft. Like, they're kind of freaking out about that. They let them... Go. They, they didn't see the other thing is we get our guns and we make them come with us if that uh, if you think that's a good idea because uh, maybe we need something else to take the bullets. I think we need one of them because they're going to be able to tell us what the console does, maybe what this room is. I don't know. I mean, well, that's true. Maybe I'll just pick the one my gun into the air. And see if I'm stop. So you, you point your gun at one of them as they're walking past you, and he kind of like gives a dull take, and he puts his hands up, and they're like. Uh, he's like, I just want to wait this out until help comes. Help's coming, right? We're the help. We're the help. We're the help. <laughs> and now you, you're going to help us. Help did, you. He says, did you land another? And you keep on hearing gunfire in the back, and he keeps on looking over like really nervous. He's like super distracted by the gunfire. He's like, did, did you land a shuttle here? Or? It's unimportant, right? At this moment, what is in that room that the fire is coming from? He's like, look, it sounds like it's coming from the, the docks, the docking area. Or Mr. Pope's office, I can't tell. That's where our ship is. <laughs> Let's, uh, it, well, can you tell us a little more about this area? What, what are we seeing? What, what is around here? This is just what we're just running experiments on the uh, subject on the subject downstairs, uh, downstairs and gathering data. Mr. Pope has provided us several samples that have uh, aided us a lot, and that's, that's all we're doing here. Samples of what? Um, some some new biotechnology. Um, he had us uh, pivot a project uh, off off of other projects back Earth side to come up here, and now we are we've been working on this now for the last uh, few months. It's all very new and very exciting. What's it Interesting. Called? Interesting. Well, we don't have a name for the sample. It, it hasn't been still very uh, unclear on what it does. Although it does seem to enjoy, it does seem to be able to take over. Uh, biological uh, organisms quite quickly. So a parasite. I wouldn't quite call it that. It's, it's something more than that, but it's a very interesting, but uh, we we only have the the, the exposed subjects down, downstairs that have been uh, carefully exposed. But uh, Mr. Pope only we only get the uh, we only get a new sample whenever Mr. Pope provides it. think we need you anymore you can get the hell out of here <laughs> all right he kind of like backs off don't use the elevator yeah i don't know stay away from the aqua yeah. is there another way down by the way i'm gonna ask him he's like elevator. no the elevator is only way down hmm. have fun yeah it's like yeah we'll figure it out but yeah I mean, john logically there was that staircase that mm -hmm. went up and there was the elevator mm -hmm. like just spatially like where we are you're you're, we're you're seeing, thinking do we like know how that might connect you're thinking that the staircase like went up to something above that room but doesn't connect to this area at all okay okay, okay. yeah it's probably on the same level you are but it's not there you don't see any doors where that would have gone okay. it also could have been a direct access and uh emergency exit or something like that too so you're not really sure what was up there did you say there was also a security terminal in here there's several uh well not in this room but in the next in the next room to the security like terminal I think if we once we get up, we should go up there and see if anybody can turn on the camera or see what's going on in that room. All the fire. Oh, yeah. 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 I could probably help with that. But we should check it out first. We just go busting into that room and see if we get shot that way, too. I really don't want that. You keep on hearing gunfire, too. Like it's not stopping. Yeah. Like oh, you it's, hear it's like they're shooting at somebody else or somebody yeah. else is shooting at them. You need to go so. figure that out. Let's let's get let's get. Right. Right. So you go you go into the security uh, security checkpoint. And the rooms opened up and like it has like you can see there's consoles for about eight people in here. It looks like there's a pair of like um, uh, yeah. barracks here, too, as well, like kind of attached to the room. And then there's one more door that has a, a sign on it that says Mr. Pope's office. I'm at the console. Can I see any videos of like? Yeah, the there's like video feed. You can see you can see video like feeds where of, the shootings coming from specifically. Um, you start taking a look at it, and it looks like you can see kind of flashes of of action and fire going on the. Uh, it looks like the tunnels of the docks, and then the the docks themselves, like the airlocks where the docks are. 
and you can see on it like it looks like about like what you're guessing there's several bodies out there already but it looks like there's about another you were guessing there was probably another like six or seven security guards here and now they're down to three outside that are in a firefight with people with much better armor much better gear like full-on assault rifles like trying to storm it looks like they're trying to storm the station actually oh onyx can you lock down this place where we're at yeah let me Give me a uh, give me a security check on that, Onyx. Right. See if you can figure out. Pope's office is in this room too. Uh, there's a door to Pope's office. Yes. Was that engineering? Uh, security, intelligence, security. Oh, intelligence. Okay. So, I'm gonna head over to that door and see if I can hear anything through it. It's two. Okay, I got two fours. Uh, okay, so eight, ten, plus intelligence, uh, twelve. Twelve. Okay. So you you go ahead and start kind of screwing around with it, and you hit you hit a button that looks like this is locked down, and it locks this room down. Um, as you do, uh, why you notice that the the door to Pope's office is, as, is also locked down now as well. Maybe unlock this door, Onyx. Though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, I think this is the only. I think it locked everything or nothing. Yeah, uh, the, the place right now is in like a lock, like an ex- a lockdown. It's a minimum of five minute lockdown, um, and it'll, it'll it'll ask if you want to re- reset the lockdown here too in a little bit. Um, but in the meantime, you can actually see all the cameras, and you're seeing it looks like someone came in through the docks, like on, and you can see there's like uh, two sh- there's two ships on the docks. One's like a basic transport, and then the other one's a, a little more advanced transport. And you can see these guys in like uh, vac suited armor with assault rifles coming down the hallway, uh, fight these guys still. It looks like they're gonna win definitively. Um, you see on the on the feed too, one of the security guards for this, this station you're in, coming back to the door, trying to um, open it, and it's locked down, and you see him just get gunned down as he's like trying to get through the door, like banging on it. Do they look familiar, these? Uh... Um, give me a, give me like a uh, intelligence current affairs check. Oh, hey. Okay, got a six on the drama. I got seven, six, thirteen, and what was that perception? Uh, intelligence. Oh, intelligence. Okay, plus two. Okay, so four, ten, fifteen, and six on the drama. Yeah, you don't recognize any. There's no symbols on the armor. It, it's pretty much kind of blacked out. Um, but based on their gear, they're professionals. Whoever they are, they 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 got professional killers, man. It's yeah. definitely no. It's definitely not that advanced prototype armor you guys saw a while back, though. Okay, it's not. It's, not, it's yeah. nothing like that. But it's I do possible. see a ship that we could get out on. Yeah, that's that's good to know. Now, Pope's office door or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Is it easy to be? Is it something I could try to bust down or pry open or? Um, it's actually a pretty heavy. It's actually a pretty heavy security door, all things considered, um, for an office door. And look, I mean, this place used to be an aluminum like processing factory. Um, and so you're taking a look at it, and uh, give me a give me a security check, uh, intelligence security, see if you can get past it. Three, fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, you start kind of messing with it, and you think you would you get the drama die? Six. Six. Okay. So yeah, you think if you keep on messing with it, you might be able to get past it. Uh, Myrtle and Jackrabbit, you guys are looking at like the different camera feeds in the room, and you can see that like pretty much the scientists downstairs look like they're largely still working, even though some are shaken up. Um, but also some of the camera feeds go onto these like holding cells. You're guessing that this, based on like the layout you're seeing, this was the room you guys couldn't get into, and there was like a direct camera on each of these um, of, of twelve holding cells, uh, six of which are empty. But six have people in them. Like people, people, or um, like... some of them. Some of them look like just kind of people that are kind of like just like sitting there, like still. Um, looks like they're sedated. You're guessing. Other ones look like they have like uh, kind of like black lines growing underneath their skin. Um, and then another one definitely has like it looks like um, almost like crystalline protrusions coming out of their skin from where like the density of the the black. Lines have like condensed or converged. That's weird. I don't think we should get anywhere near that. You want me to let him out? <laughs> I think we get out of here. I think we uh, maybe these people already take down Pope for us. You, and we just get get gone, you know. Um, yeah. Myrtle, though, you do see that like 
on there is like a label uh based on the labels of the, the cameras and then there's like little button little control panels there is a fail safe situation for all those holding cells to uh uh fail safe on them and it's, it's like it's like a it's like a contamination uh fail safe well since we're on my planet of earth well luna we're on luna uh, i don't really whatever kind of nastiness is going on here with whatever disease is causing this stuff you know if this is what the scientists are working on i don't really want to cut these guys loose i think that we should let i mean look at these oh they just look awful it's pretty gross yeah and get, maybe get we should just the put them out of their misery maybe lock them up and we tell diana to come in and take care of that that's their job i think we should get well i think we should uh yeah decontaminate and and uh put those things down man they can't be good whatever they got uh, I mean, well, you, you know, know though what if that were my friend titan i wouldn't want to take him down i don't even know what's happening yeah but look look at all look at that stuff growing out of them i mean if that if that was our friend and they get out i mean what if it, one of us gets that or they get it it gets loose i don't i don't know what they've been doing in this lab but it ain't like a parasite taking over completely their body yeah just Don't. like you know whatever they were talking whatever made everybody on arrow sick you know maybe this is a disease they're trying to figure out a cure or something but i mean they look awful I and mean, they look like they're in pain if this gets out on this you know it gets out and goes down those tunnels how many people is it going to spread to yeah, we can't let this get up out of this where we are. We can't get let it out get out of this lab. That's for sure. Uh, you're saying, Sam? Uh, where are they in relation to us? Uh, they're they're down below you guys. Uh, so like below. down an elevator shaft. That yeah. We get to. Yeah, you couldn't get them directly without having. To, I mean, you, you hear you hear some of the scientists trying to get to the elevator shaft. They might have a chance at it after a little bit of time, but. And did not a way to just uh, lock them down, make sure they. They don't are locked down right now. Like they actually are like locked up in these like holding cells, but the failsafe is to basically stop them. Like they, it, it kills. It looks like it releases some sort of agent that like just starts dissolving biological material. I don't know about you all, but anyone who made that button was somebody who was going to use it, and I don't want to be associated with none of that. You know? Maybe they were scared of it. And they didn't if you want all it. want to do that, you do that. But that on you, man. Yeah, I, th I think they put that there. It's going to get out of control, and they, they burn it, man. They burn it. Because, I mean, look at him. Look at that. What, what is that stuff coming out of there? Yeah. And they're sedated. They're just kind of sitting there, like, sweating. Uh, you can see their skin has a slight blue tinge to it at points. Um, regardless of their skin tone, like their natural skin tone, it's, it's now turning kind of a bluish hue. Um, but and there's definitely this black like uh, tendrils kind of coming out of the, the skin. I, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll live with it. And I'll, All right. just, I'll just hit it. All right. You push the down. button. Um, and you see, you see, basically, you start seeing like um, these. Uh, you're guessing like there was like tanks of, of some sort of like um, hydrofluoric acid or something like that it starts pouring into the place. And you start seeing the bodies like dissolve. Um, like everything looks like it's just kind of turning into a mush. Wow. Oh. They flip the camera off. Noise. Yeah. What's that? Do they scream or make any noise? Uh, the, 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 currently, the audio is not on for those rooms. Uh, you can see them kind of like like some of us are the, the one that's really like infected, the one that had like the crystals and stuff growing out of them. That one starts flailing a bit more than the others, but the others look like they've been heavily sedated. Like they're not feeling anything. Yeah, try to turn it off, like the you know the pictures off at this point. Okay. Yeah, you can turn off the cam, the, yeah. the bees real quick, or swap them. By the way, Onyx, I think you could probably bust through that door, security-wise, if you. Oh yeah, let me uh, let me burgle that thing. I don't think I can do it. All right, yeah. go give me a yeah, give me a security check on that. All right. So if I succeed, I get a, a one piece of information. All right. That's intel. Okay. So that is a plus. All right, plus two. Oh yeah, okay, so 10, 13, and plus uh, 15, and a four on the drama. Okay, so yeah, you managed to, the, like, I mean, why did all the work, but you managed to kind of get the lock open and, and the door comes open, no problem. And it's a pretty nice office. Actually, it's a pretty big room, all things served as an office. Uh, you can see there's a desk, there's like a meeting, there's like a small meeting table. 
Um, there's like a uh, big view screen, kind of nice cushion a area. You can also see there's another door that goes out into that same into the same like what you got is a hallway to the um, to the airlocks of the landing pad where you hear the gunfire from, which you're not hearing anymore. Um, but as you guys are kind of standing there, um, Myrtle, like uh, there starts to be like a flashing um, signal on one of the security consoles saying like, um, you know, uh, in incoming call, incoming call. All right, I'll go over and take the call. Okay. Um, it's coming from like the outside of the, the where the tunnels are. Um, a request here, and it's uh, you open it up, and like there, you can see that like um, there's what looks to be uh, five of these like heavily armed men uh, with heavy, like pretty heavy armor, assault rifles, and in addition, you see another individual in heavy armor with an assault rifle that looks familiar. It's Diana, hmm. and she's like, "Anyone home?" Uh, hey there. Stranger? Like Myrtle. Thought thought you'd be here. You wanna open <laughs> that you got you wanna open that door for me? Um uh, should I? You gonna shoot us? <laughs> She's like, I think every, I think everyone's gonna shoot at us and dead. Why don't we uh let's go what, what's uh how'd you guys get in here? Through the front door? Yeah, right through the it's front like, door. This is the front door. <laughs> Um, back door then? Back door. But you guys, you guys took a, she's like, you took a walk to the tunnels. Braver than I thought. Listen, uh, is uh, Pope in there? Uh, no, we do not have Pope. Pope's not here. Is the, is the, you guys see the sample in there? Uh, do we see the sample in there? We're looking yeah, we'll around. Yeah, we look around. Look around. Uh, you don't see like, any indicated sample. Is there, she's like, is there a, uh, a uh, about a half a meter by a quarter of a meter cylinder in his office. I'll take a look. Do I see anything? Uh, give me a scene test real quick as you kind of look around. Are you searching? Uh, you can be searching. I'll let you do searching too. Okay. Yeah, you take a look around, Wyatt, no problem. And like, uh, there's nothing like that in here. I got uh, six in the Okay. Yeah, he, there's nothing like that in there. Although you do see that there was like, um, looks like something that could have been holding that, like a like a kind of a platform for it. But uh, there's nothing like that in here. There seems to be. There's nothing in here, but there seems to be another way out. So I guess we can let you in if you just promise not to shoot us. I'm kind of tired. Okay, no, she's like, I got no problem. She's got no problem with any of you guys. Uh, you want to open the door, Myrtle? Yeah. I'll open All right. The door. She comes, her, her men come in the door, secure the room, take a look around. They see you guys, they, they holster their gun, they put their, sling their guns and look, start looking around. She goes, phew, you guys have been busy. Um, so you didn't see the sample and Pope's not here. She's like, okay. Um, looks like it could have been over here, but it's definitely. She kind of looks over and she says, she kind of gets on it. She goes, give me a second. She gets on her wrist thing and starts like putting something in and goes, uh, yeah, we got to. Yeah. Yeah, the miner's gone, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, start starting. Head up there right now. He's like, all right. Well, it looks like uh, Pope gave us the slip here. Um, I have another team. I have another team getting ready to go hit him. It looks like uh, based on the trajectory of his uh, last shuttle, he's hit, it's hidden for his uh, yacht up in orbit. And uh, it looks like we just got word that the uh, princess in Victoria Lewis his yacht is making a hard burn for Tycho. Uh, we're going to go try to catch it and try to stop him here. Uh, I'm going to take a look around here. Uh, you all are free to go. Are you following him? Are you going to? I'm I'm going to take a look around here and see if I can find uh, my shuttle. My, uh, my ship's already taken off. You guys kind of feel, feel a rumble as like her. The ship that brought her here is taken off. All right. So I think there's a good possibility we might follow too. Can you let your team know so they don't shoot us? Uh, I would recommend against following him or trying to uh, trying to trying to get onto the princess the, the Victoria, but and interfering with our business. But like I said, you're free to go. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Getting out of here is good. Before we get out of this room, just mm -hmm. like like we see all these cameras of all these spaces. 
Does it seem like there's any other potential other way that he could have gone other than getting to a ship and leaving? Or does that seem like it's the only, only uh, pathway? Give me, a, give me an intuition check. Perception intuition. Um, I mean, on the drama. if you were going to like leave this place, like going up in orbit isn't a bad move. Um, especially if you had ships. Uh, trying to like run across the surface of the moon ain't going to be a lot of fun. Trying to go back to those tunnels wasn't a great option either. You got, you wouldn't recommend going through the tunnels. <laughs> yeah. And then I look at my friends and I'm like, uh, what way back do we even head? We can't go down that elevator. Can't go back to the tunnels, man. You could. There is a shuttle out on the docks. It looks like that was the one the mercenaries were going to use. They didn't get to it. Oh, but I guess there's this one here. I can fly that. I uh, know you can. Let's go give it a shot. Yeah, let's get oh, out of here. Let's get. Okay. You guys are kind of walking out, and uh, you head over to the shuttle. It's, it's a basic shuttle. It's just like an orbital shuttle. It's not something you can really like. Um. It has an Epstein drive, but it's not like meant to like fly for a long time. It doesn't have a lot of stores. It's more just meant to get up in orbit and come back down and such like that too. But if you wanted to use it to try to like intercept or dock with something up in orbit, it may not be a bad move. Um, the, easily enough though, you start uh, Onyx, you and Wyatt, you kind of grab some stuff off the security officers that are going through. You grab one of the security cards. Thing opens up no problem and responds to your uh, commands really easily. Our ship's in orbit, right? Your ship is up in orbit, yeah. It's up on a, it's up on an orbital dock, yeah. I'm just gonna start taking us there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. all right. You um, you go ahead. Uh, you guys all gather up, no problem. You get on the shuttle, headed up into orbit. Uh, plot a flight path. Uh, you start getting pings off as you're flying through, from the uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, flight control for Luna. To asking you like you know uh you know uh shuttle shuttle bypass where is your what is your trajectory what is your flight plan number yeah flight plan number is uh and i flip off the thing <laughs> and I look at our friends i don't know what to tell these guys we're just trying to get to our ship man you will crew been through a lot this, you, this, you call diana she tell you all about this it. this docking action is unauthorized this docking action you have planned for the station is unauthorized please turn back and wait and your wait your turn or you will be fined for your can actions could i jam it at all you can just turn it off i mean oh yeah maybe you turn it off okay right. Find. okay uh yeah uh, my name is sebastian pope man <laughs> you charge him <laughs> um jack Rabbit, give me a pilot check real quick i do try to like bring this in a dock really quick with the sinclair I thought you were going to say deception. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been rad. <laughs> That's 15. 15. You you speed this this thing right up into orbit real quick, kind of like kind of tear up the uh, the dock a little bit uh, as you leave, or the, the, the landing pad as you leave uh, Luna. And you guys got like back suits on real quick too, a little emergency one for Wyatt. And uh, you get up into orbit, you dock with the Sinclair, no problem. It's sitting there where you left it. Um, station security is kind of like, it looks like you're starting to get some attention from the UN and then, um, although what's surprising right now is there's actually not that many ships in orbit right now. Um, and the amount of patrol ships is like way down. There's something like, whatever this thing with the Aerosa was going on, it's like got the UN and then like way, it's got all their attention for sure. So it seems like this is a good time. If you want to do some illegal stuff. This would be the time to do it. Imagine getting back in the ship and being like, oh. what the hell do we do now, man? You know, I thought we were going to die back there. I was kind of ready to go. And now I just feel like uh, all the big guns come in. And uh, I mean, they say we shouldn't go chase them. Everything seems fishy. Just we killed yeah. all those people. I don't even know. Let's you take Wyatt to Meta Bay. <laughs> yeah. As we're going, I'm going to be like, you know what I really think? I think we need to punch it straight to that uh, that uh, yacht. Yeah. Yeah. Sure you I, can said, I, that okay. I said we finished this. Right. So you put. Right. And I, yeah, I ask, I ask Wyatt. I'm like, you say punch it, man. You know I will, but you sure you can handle that with what your body doing right now with all that oozing and stuff? We're gonna find out. Right. We're gonna stop now. You gonna the, ooze more? You you put Wyatt in the uh, uh, the medical crash couch. 
Uh, the rest of you guys go and take your stations and uh, Jackrabbit, you punch it up pretty easily, no problem, heading for the, the princess. The princess is a big ship. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a yacht. I mean, it's, it's actually bigger than, like, said, like, technically it's bigger than the Doniger. I mean, it's, it's a massive ship. Um, but it's, it's like a basic cruise ship in space. Uh, very much uh, for ego, we'll say. Um, as you uh, uh, as you do, uh, you start cruising it out toward. You start cruising the Sinclair out towards this uh, the ship, the yacht, and it's not easy. It's an easy ship to pick up on your scanner. It's not even a challenge. Um, you uh, you can see what looks to be like the um, a breaching pod, like has is like attached to where the um, uh, you're guessing is the bridge for the ship. Uh, so what are we doing, see. everybody? I guess we got to come up with some kind of plan here as we approach. <laughs> there are docks on the ship. Uh, on the yacht, there are docks. Um, but you can see that they, whoever Dinah sent after this, they breached it. They didn't just board. They didn't like dock and then board it. They took it by force. He's going to try to escape again. Yeah, maybe we should look, uh, keep our eyes out for a ship that, that takes off while they're, they're breaching it so we don't get in the way either of these, those other folk. If he gets out, then we can just launch a torpedo at him. Oh, yeah. I mean, you guys, yeah, we could just you want to fire on the sh You guys can fire on the ship. We have a pair of torpedo tubes. No, no, we're waiting to, um, it's yeah, see if like, Pope. we're waiting for Pope to take some kind of little escape pod ship or something. So you, you, you see the ship, the, the yacht's kind of, like, moving, uh, doing a burn towards Tycho. Um, do you guys want to stay, do you want to keep a, uh, a safe distance from it, though? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so you guys are going to keep pursuit of it? Okay. Is there anything on the comms? Like, are we picking up anything or chatter? Um, on it right now, there it looks like uh, you kind of got some chatter, but then, like, it stopped, and it kind of lines up when the breaching pod hit the bridge. Okay. Yeah, usually a breaching pod doesn't directly hit, like, try to hit the bridge, but this one did. It was pretty aggressive. It just went right in. Um, you do pick up, though, there's a, there is another ship, uh matching its speed and trajectory that's kind of going alongside of it. Uh, the ship does not identify though. There's no transponder on it. I guess that one's probably MCRN. Yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, well, we could try to hail them, I guess. Yeah. See if they talk to us. That don't work. I say we just uh, join the party. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, because if if they're here and they're waiting to do the same thing we're doing, I mean, maybe they're they got more torpedoes and guns than we do, and and maybe we could just like go join the party. All right. As you as you kind of approach it, uh, they're. the the ship that, that, that matches orbit uh, starts. Uh, Painting your ship. Um, it's starting to like uh, scan your guys' ship. You, you start noticing. Just gonna send a message to them and say, usually people buy me dinner first before they do that. <laughs> um, do you got, any of you guys want to scan the ship real quick or take a look at it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Give me, um, who's gonna, uh, we'll, we'll have Myrtle do that. Myrtle, give me a uh, technology check, uh, intelligence technology. Just watching this all from the med bay. Pretty much. <laughs> Shoot yourself up. You're just like <laughs> uh, six, 15, 16. Sixteen. Uh, you scan the ship real quick. It's a pretty basic. Um, it's 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 about the size of the, of the Sinclair, but it's not nearly as like nice. It's built more to like um, kind of look unassuming. Um, it does not have torpedo tubes at all. It only has a PDC network. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Looks more like a um, uh, just kind of a cargo ship. But it's actually fairly fast, all things considered. It's actually a pretty maneuverable ship, but it has no registry, no name, nothing like that. It's fresh off the fresh off the uh, assembly line. Yeah. That's, yeah that's Maybe we should uh, send a tight beam to them. Yeah. See what they got to say. And, and we could say we got torpedoes if they don't, uh, you know, answer that. We could just blast them out. 
but we really don't want to do that. So no, we, no, we don't. Yeah. What do you think, Cap? <laughs> what do you think, Cap? What do you want to do? Wants to hail him. Oh, I will. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that from the med bay or not. <laughs> oh yeah, you could. But all right, yeah, you hail him up, Merle. Uh, you throw a line at them. What are you going to say to them? You hail them. Hey there, friendos. Uh, hopefully you are friendly. <laughs> Uh, we're kind of coming up here, um, and we're uh, friends of Diana's, so we just want to see what you guys are up to, see if we have the same ideas, or what's going on. Uh, you got a story for us? It says, uh, you get a response back saying, uh, Sinclair, uh, cease your pursuit of the Princess Victoria Louise. Uh, your services are no longer needed. Further, further, further pursuit will result in uh, mil in violent action against your ship. Maybe we go find a station and <laughs> go get some drinks. And yeah, turn I around, mean, man. I, I, I mean, know, I know how to save my own life, and it's usually in a bar. You, you do, based on the assessment of the ship, though. Like the Sinclair could probably take this ship pretty easily. It's not a heavily armed ship. Or you might be able to shoot them, shoot them in torpedoes, they'll pursue and make them break off. Uh, yeah. yeah or, what, so, uh, I'll come back at him. Okay, so, uh, how do you feel if we're gonna maybe go in the yacht and find ourselves a drinky poo? <laughs> Sinclair, you've been warned. You said not to, like, engage. You don't need our services. Why can't we go get a drink? They, they've cut the channel. Did we got one of the cheap, well, cheap uh, torpedoes we could shoot. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, you guys. Start, let's, can, well, you guys have the, the plasma. Uh, I think you guys have one plasma ready and one and one of the other ones. But you could, I mean, you could open up with the uh, in the magazine. Uh, hey man, why are we gonna pick fights with people just to pick fights? It seems like they don't need us. Yeah, maybe I don't they, even yeah. know. What maybe are they, they after? Hope. Why are they cutting us out of this? We were, you know, this has been our That's task. True. I mean, uh, Diana said, said go, you know, go, we're done, but... Onyx, you get a, you get a notification, uh, the Sinclair is telling you something real quick, and it's basically saying that the Princess, uh... I always forget the name of the damn ship. Uh, the Princess Victoria Luis, uh, has sustained substantial damage to its control systems, and, like, you can, it's showing there was, like, a massive damage where the bridge was. Um, and it's showing, indicating that it's, it's course is altering, and the Sinclair brings up, like, a map of its, its altered course, and it looks like instead of like going towards Tycho, it's gonna beam out tighter. Uh, based on the trajectory, it looks like within the next few hours, it may actually collide with Luna. Hey, hey, look hey. at, hey, check. I put put it on the screen. Whoa, look at this, man. That ship is, that yacht is sinking, but it's it's making a bad turn to your home, Myrtle. It's, it's gonna go right into Luna. And uh, I don't know if they know that, but we should tell them, well, we, we need to stop it. It's just gonna collide and I sort of show the, I just share all that news with everybody. Hey, Jackrabbit. Mm. I know you don't want to do this, but punch it towards the big ship. Where I think we need to go in and stop that. It looked like all the ask one, one question. We go to this big ship here. What are we what are we trying to do? I don't even know what who'd on it. Does it does it John, does it look like it's already been boarded by these marshals? Yeah, these guys, uh, whoever these guys are, they boarded it. They assaulted, it looks like they assaulted the bridge, but damaged it too heavily. Like, the ship looks like it's out of control. So, okay, we got, yeah. yeah. Based on that, you know, what you guys know about, like, engineering, you'd have to go to the engineering bay to, like, stop it, to stop the ship's engines, um, or to try to alter no, the course of it. And I'll just it. say, like, yeah. I mean, why, I, do you do you think that uh, Diana is trying to make this thing go there? I mean, are they up there? Shouldn't they be seeing what we see? And they seem to be all smart with all their technology and things. I mean, I can go there, but I just I It looks like it's understand. out of control. It looks like it's out of control. Like, they shot it, and it's, it's going there. I mean, I could probably get, if we get on there, I could probably see if I could fix it. But, I mean, it's going straight for Luna. I, I don't know. We just need to get it off the path of Luna. Yeah. Maybe we just shoot it with torpedoes then, man. How about move? Why yeah. are we gonna get on something that's on a crash course for a moon? Let's you know get what? a bit of shove. Let's get a bit of shove. I like the idea of torpedoes. We haven't got to play with those yet. 
Yeah, shoot Just the cheapest to knock one. Knock it on different course. Yeah, let's start with the cheapest one. If that don't work, okay. we'll upgrade to the better. All right. Yeah. So you want to fire? You want to fire one of the your standard torpedoes, uh, high explosive round torpedoes, uh, at the ship? Do you have a, a specific area of it you want to target? Is there any kind of like? Yeah. Well, where would we think it would do the best? Yeah, I mean, you could like go for the you could go for the reactor and try to blow the reactor. Um, that's a pretty bold move. It'll cause the whole ship to explode, though. Right, uh, there's still people on there that might be in a Yeah, set. we just want to, um, and that might seem make us look real hostile, but maybe we just want to, like, yeah, somewhere where we could hit it where it would, the ship would turn its course. And we should probably, I want to see if I can send this info to that ship, the other ship, so they know, like... It, it looks like their, like I said, their bridge system, their command system is, because they're not, it's not a military ship. It's, it's, right. it's a... It's a yacht. It looks like there's heavy damage to it. They're calm. They're not responding to anything. It's oh, you're guessing people. I think are... we were talking about the other ship. Oh, the mercenary the ship. The mar- yeah. yeah. That the, was okay, telling so us to get out of there. They're 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 just kind of like following along with it. Uh, it looks like they're waiting to the last minute trying to like get their guys off of it. Is your best guess? Gotcha. gotcha. Or they're trying to retrieve something or something like that. All right, I'm gonna send a message from the med bay to that other ship. Okay. I don't know what you guys' plan is, or if you're even going to listen to this, but here in a few seconds, we're going to already launch a torpedo at that big ass boat because it's headed straight for Luna. And we don't like that. We don't want to see people die. So, this, the first torpedo will be for the big ship. And if you get in our way, the next one will be for you. I right, see so you want to throw, you just want to throw a torpedo to try to alter its course. Okay. Uh, torpedo, uh, who's going to launch, who's, are you guys ready to launch one? Oh, yeah. All right, torpedo, the torpedo launches out and uh, starts flying towards the uh, Victoria. Uh, you notice the PDC network on the ship between you and it is deployed, and it tries to, it tries to shoot down the, uh, the torpedo. Uh, and as the torpedo goes over uh, the, the, the ship that you guys are talking to, it, the PDC network just shreds the torpedo before it lands on the Victoria. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna I'm gonna chime in now. Uh, what's your deal? Don't you see that it's gonna hit a uh, hit into Luna? You gonna just let that happen? What are you all doing on there? Do you need us to get on there and fix it for you? It seems like uh, everybody always calls us to do the dirty work. Is that what you need in here? There's no response. They 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 are not talking to you guys at all. Maybe we blow gonna... them up first, and then we alter the course of the yacht. I mean... Hey, can you, does anybody want to give uh, Diana a call and see what the hell's going on? Yeah, I do. I, I feel like I'm already, like, sending her... You're not sure how to get a hold of her. That's always been the thing. She gets a hold of you. And you could dead drop on her, but, like, she doesn't really have a direct line, especially where she is right I'm now. Gonna, um, I just want to, like, do an all-channels kind of message. Oh, you're going to broadcast out some shit? Okay. You can do a Holden style. You're going to Holden style, okay. (laughs) All right, do a Holden style. And I just want to say, hey, this is a call for Deanna. You know who I am. You know how to get me. Anybody else listening? There's this big old tin bucket heading for Luna. Y'all better run. Uh, Diana, call me back. Okay, thanks. Bye. So what's really interesting about your message is that it's like tied up with a lot of other messages out in the system. Everyone seems to be talking about the right, arrows right now being heading towards Earth. What do you guys want to do? So we've got Eros is heading towards Earth, and this yacht is heading towards Luna. Yeah, this will hit this will hit Luna before uh Eros, uh, well before Eros, so. That'll take care of the Innos, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, uh, I kid. Uh, Jackrabbit, how interested are you in doing some space combat? I mean, always ready for something. I just, you were talking about getting on that ship uh, earlier. Was it something you thought we could do on side of it, or do you think it's all out here? We could definitely, I think we could accomplish something unless we get gunned down for just being there. There, yeah, they, they way outnumber us with size and weapons. No, those guys aren't. Your ship's as big as theirs, and they don't have nearly the weapon capabilities you guys do. What's, how's our PDCs? PDCs are fine. You guys haven't fired them. They're they're like at ninety percent. Did we get a railgun? No. God oh. no. No. <laughs> whatever you all, I do whatever you tell me to do. 
Well, we got to do something, right? I mean, you got and you have another torpedo loaded up. You have a pair of them right now ready to go. You, you, you think you might be able to take that mercenary ship if you fire both simultaneously. I mean, we got... What do we owe them? We don't owe them shit. Well, we don't even know who they are, man. Yeah, and they just, they're just trying to... It's like they want the yacht. They know where the yacht's going, and they're not trying to stop it. No, so but, it's up to us to stop it. But then uh, they could be Diana's people, too, and, you know, I don't know, but... Can I get a tight beam to, like, my dad? Sure. You know, and so I'm just, I'm going to reach out to him and let him know where we are, what we're right. doing, what's happening. And I know that, you know, it's like real this, time. You can talk to him real time. Yeah. It's He's, just like, hey, I know what's going on. This Eros thing, Eros is moving. I don't know, but, uh, you know, this is worse for you right now. So what's up? He's like, what do you mean? What's, what's worse for me? He's like, I'm, everyone's just talking about this Eros thing. What's, what's going on? Where are you, Myrtle? He's like looking at like... So, uh, we are outside of this, uh, princess, whatchamacallit, ship. Yeah. Um, Victoria. Mr. Victoria Pike. Luis. Yeah, the Victoria Luis. So, they, um, some unknown people have come up here and disabled it, and I assume they're looking for Mr. Pope, and, uh, they have disabled the ship enough that it is actually on a trajectory to fall right into Luna. He's like, and we're trying to figure out how we can make that not happen. He's like, do you want to send the data? Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, he looked at it, he goes, it's like, blast out of the sky. You guys got, you got torpedoes? Blast out of the sky. All right. Well, or let's... he's, yeah. Unless you can get on board and, and you got someone, you got, you got a hell of an engineer. We do thing. have a hell of an engineer. It's just, you know, we hope we can get on board if we go that route. We've got a little time to try that, um, but we don't know if who's on the ship and might try to kill us before we can get a chance to do that. Like, well, yeah, the one thing you're going for is a civilian ship. The majority of people on there won't be on, won't be armed or have military training. But if you said it's been boarded, then there's going to be some people on there that know, how to, know what they're doing. Right. And they also could be compromised, too, and have their hands full of something. But they're on there for, for some reason. The question is, what do they want on there? Right. And is it like, is it just they want to get Pope? Or is, they got, is there something that Pope has that they want? That's what you'd ask yourself. Well, we know what he wants and what these people probably want. So I don't think that they're going to give it up. They probably aren't. And I'm going to send him some information also about what we were just doing over there sure. in Pope's office and the tunnels and oh. all that stuff. He's looking through this and he's like, so geez, so up, whatever they are, they're up to no good. How long do we have until that ship hits? Oh, uh, it's a few hours. It was, burning, it was burning pretty hard away and now it's like on the burn back, but it's not a very fast burn. You know, we could try the torpedoes first if that don't work. I'm willing to go on the ship, you know. And can we come like around? Civilian, there may be a bunch of people on there, is what it sounded like from Myrtle's dad. Did your dad know. say that there's lots of people on there? Uh, possibly, and possibly uh, mostly civilians. They're all gonna die. Yeah, you're guessing a ship like that, uh, based on it, it has a few hundred people. It usually has a few hundred people enjoying the cruise. You can't kill all those people. So... Can't we? <laughs> I'm already driving, like, driving. Yeah, take, take me there. Let's I'm, do this. I'm Let's already flying it in. All right, you guys start, you start closing in on it. Uh, you're coming up to the point where you're going to be in PDC range for that other ship. What do you want to do? So we blow that ship out. You want to throw the torpedoes out real quick? So what happens? Yeah, I look at yeah, everybody. Yeah, to but, just, like, like, just to, not to blow it up, but just to, like, do the... Stable it. Yeah. It. So that's, Would so that that's, be better for the PDCs to try to disable it? So that's not the way the torpedoes work. Uh, you don't get a really shoot, uh, like, they kind of, they kind of, and this ship isn't very big, the torpedo will, like, uh, okay. blow the ship apart pretty quick. And the, the Princess, you could actually hit, and, like, it wouldn't blow the ship apart, it's actually because it's freaking massive, but this thing, you would probably would turn into slag if the torpedo hits proper. Is there anything we could do to just disable their ship? I mean, you can start like trying to get. Uh, you can you can try to like get closer to it and like really try to do some 
punctured shock with the PDCs, but it's 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 still kind of a bugger. It gets hard when you start doing cult shock, guys. Like I'm really quick. It's really well, hard. Since it's big enough, can we just go around it on the other side? You want you want to try to keep you in. So the problem is once you guys dock on the on the princess, this thing can just come around while you guys are in dock. That's what's going to happen. If you dock with the ship, the ship's just going to shred you while you're docked with it. Um, we just gotta, we just gotta That's what I'm saying. It's like yeah, you're coming to a point where like your only real option is to blast these guys, the this the ship. And they have shown that they are willing to like combat you, so there yeah, is that. They're not afraid to shoot at us. They're yeah, they kill us. I mean, let's use these fancy torpedoes, man. You want to use the plasma? I look at everybody. I don't know. I mean, dude, we got a free supply of them from our friend, right? You, you know, <laughs> you got you got a sample yeah. free. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is a big thing, a big move, but uh, so we, are we, we talking about taking out that ship and then boarding, boarding it? it yeah. Then boarding it? Yep. Yeah. I'd rather save a few hundred civilians than ten mercs. Alright, yeah. I'm in. Alright. Can I grab it? Who's gonna launch the two torpedoes? I'm gonna leave it up to Jackrabbit. I'll let her make the decision. The final decision. Nah. I mean, this is the second time you... I, I just... You know what I don't understand? It seemed like those people, they working for Diana. Why the heck would they blow us up whenever Diana call us for help, you know? We're uh, just doesn't yeah. make any sense. We're doing the dirty work that she doesn't want to do. Uh, she could send her people to, to take us out, and then, yeah. We already know. No witnesses. Know. If this what you all think is the thing to do, then it's what you all think is the thing to do. Yeah, I mean, we gotta save that pe those people on, the, on that ship. And all the people was, on Luna. Luna too. And yeah. They're not letting us get close, and if we dock, they're gonna sh they're gonna shred us. Yeah, grab you a fire control. I'm not firing nothing at no one, and if it, I don't even know why they you somebody else have to do it. Uh, I just don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. They're not firing at us. I'm gonna start getting up from the med bay. Okay. Making my way. You can fire him from the med bay. There's... Sorry, Jackrabbit. This isn't. Don't have to say sorry to me. I fly this. Uh, I fly this uh, rust bucket and uh, I sleep at night. <laughs> I do have some gunnery. That helps. Uh, it's more. It's more of like the torpedoes versus their uh, sense. Your this ship sensors versus their sensors. It's all AI controlled stuff. All right. I can but I'm on, your, I'm on your side, everybody, just so you know. I just don't understand why this is happening like this. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It make doesn't. Yeah. We, we gotta, yeah, we'll have to, we gotta, we're gonna find out. We'll figure this out. When we see Diana next, too, we're gonna bring this up. But, uh, yeah, shoot it. Let it. All right. Push the button. All right. So you push the button. Uh, torpedoes both launched. They both come in. Uh, the first one fires off. First one. I wave at the torpedoes and say. But wow. both of them go in. Um, their PDC networks opens up and trying to fire these two torpedoes. The first one, the first torpedo gets splashed. The second one makes it past the network and detonates onto the ship. Uh, the ship takes a bit of damage. It takes some damage, and uh, it's a direct hit on the ship. Uh, it takes, um, let's see here, we're going to try to do some loss prevention. Prevent, okay, how much do they need to prevent? They need to prevent quite a bit. Okay, yeah, okay, they have to prevent a lot. Uh, <laughs> that is going to be hard for them. So, uh, they go to take some, the, uh, yeah, basically it gets through and they manage to like, you manage to blow like uh, a bunch of their, manu their maneuvering uh, thrust, two of their maneuvering thrusters. You blow like their sensor array off. Uh, you knock off their, uh, and you also knock off their reactor. Yeah. A, ma a major part of the ship. So the ship's just kind of sitting there spinning as everything else keeps on moving around it. But hey. you, didn't, you didn't. I'm, not, I'm flying. Yeah, yeah you can die yet. See? They yeah, just, you, you probably killed small. a few of their crew members, but you didn't kill everybody. But you definitely like fucked up their engineering. All right, that's good. That's good enough for me. Okay. I was actually yeah, I'm already I'm just really like flying it toward wherever we're going. Yeah, we're good to go. I'm going to start getting out of the med bay and suiting back up. Yeah, I'm going to get my tool kit out, keep my armor on, get ready to 
Okay. All right, so you guys go to one of the, you guys, uh, give me, Jack, right, give me a potting chest real quick, see if you can dock on this thing, okay? Seventeen. Not a problem. You manage to uh, cozy on up to the, the princess here, and you get a nice lock onto the, the docks. The docking clamps start moving in. Uh, you know how the, uh, um... You got the gravity shifts kind of a little bit lighter as you guys uh, are now using the princess's um, Victoria Luis's uh, thrust towards Luna. Um, but the, the airlock opens up no problem. Um, as it opens up, you you start seeing that like there's like about like two dozen people outside of there going like, let us in. Like, come on, we need to get off this ship. We should take as many people we can off the ship, right? And I'll get on, and I'll start headed right to the engineering room. I'm gonna follow on, X. Okay. All right. Myrtle, what about you? Uh, I'm gonna try to do some crowd control. Okay. Um, Actually, so, do you need to stay back with you, Myrtle? You're kind of beat up, so. Yeah. What is you? Yeah, we can at least do commanding voices. <laughs> so the the two. We look of, like we know what we're doing. The, the two of you go ahead and start setting them up. There's some crash couches in the. Uh, there's certainly some crash couches in the. Uh, the, the storage, the cargo bay. Uh, there's some down in engineering, the machine shop. There's also some by like the extra um, uh, crew quarters. There are a lot of crew quarters in here that are unused. You could put them in there. You do. Guys, you guys do have a brig. Uh, what do you, these like 24, 30 people? Like, where do you want to put them? Just like tell them to sit in the galley, wait it off, or what? Yeah, just tell them to kind of just just come in, uh, sit, relax. We're gonna see what we can do, but just stay calm. Yeah. Okay, give me a persuasion check from both of you. You guys try to get them up. And then uh, you guys can also lock off uh, ops if you don't want them to access the ops or engineering. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Seven? Oh, man. Negative three. Come on, Myrtle. As you sort of gar- as you gargle blood in front of them. Don't touch me. That would be a 16, please. Okay, so Myrtle's really, so as we all know from their get-go, Myrtle's really in charge. And, um, yeah, you kind of, you kind of tell them to keep calm, and these people are, they're like well-dressed, they're like, like, like nice dresses, outfits, definitely not space-faring gear. Some of them are even wearing jewelry. Um, it's pretty shocking. Um, but you managed to get them kind of subtle and stuff like that, too. Um, Onyx and Jackrabbit, you guys moved past the crowd pretty well into this kind of, uh, it's not a cargo bay, it's more of like a kind of a welcoming area for the ship. Um, engineering is going to be down. Up is going to be uh, the command deck. Uh, where do you guys? You guys go ahead for engineering. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I want to move Basically as fast pro- as I can. Exactly. Because yeah. we know command deck is like done. So yeah, we, we're going as fast as we can to the engineering. Okay. Um, the uh, the ship kind of lurches. It kind of has an inconsistent thrust as it's going, but it, it's definitely doing something decent. Um, as you, uh, start, uh, maneuvering through, go ahead and either, uh, give me either, uh, Oxymon engineering test. Let's see if you can figure out how to, uh, the, make sure you know the way down there. Can I also do that? Does um, if you want to do an engineering, an enge- engineering test or a, st- a stealth or a security test, uh, Jack, have it your choice. I got a 17 um, and a three on the drum. Very nice. Whew. That's 13. 13. I was also just did engineering. Okay. Um, you're a little lost on it, uh, Jackrabbit. The um, as you as you're kind of going through the whole thing, uh, it looks like you're you're starting to see like the people in here are starting to panic and starting to kind of push back on you a little bit here. Um, the uh, it looks like it's getting kind of dangerous. People are seeing you, these new faces on here, and they're starting to move towards your where you guys are coming from, starting to make up the flow of it. Uh, so it looks like uh, Myrtle and uh, Wyatt are going to have their hands full of how many people they can actually fit onto the Sinclair. Um, you where we're going, Onyx? So you want me to grab one of these and make them show us? I think I know the way. Um, give me, uh, Jack, give me a follow-up. Uh, what do you, how do you want to try to deal with these people that are moving to the ship now? Like... I'm just moving out of the way. All right, give me a stealth. Give me a stealth check uh, to try to to try to avoid them. Is we'll that say dexterity. Dexterity, yeah. That's a fourteen. Okay. Yeah, you you kind of manage like uh, maneuver around them so they're not so imposing. Um, 
What do you do? Uh, what do you want to do? What do you guys want to keep on doing? What about uh, Myrtle and Wyatt? What do you guys want to do? You have this, people are starting to come come in. You're, you had like thirty. Now you're up to forty people coming in. You're running out of crash couches here for sure. But you you put them on the cargo bay. You have the room for them. It's just a matter of like it ain't gonna be comfortable. We might have to start. I'm like it's not gonna be comfortable, but we're not gonna let you leave you here to die. So you guys can go, you know, hang out in our cargo bay until we figure out what the hell's going right. on. Yeah, the galley's pretty full. People have taken us on the extra rooms. Uh, some of the the, the extra rooms are by the machine shop. Uh, the people in the cargo bay. Uh, I mean, they need to. They can lay down in the cargo bay if you guys hit, start hitting thrust. But it ain't gonna be yeah. comfortable for Just, them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go get some like coffee and tea and hot beverages made for people okay. to keep them calm. Because the last thing we want is them just like again. Huh. All right, so you, you guys start kind of catering to them. Uh, back to Jackrabbit and Onyx. The two of you seem to be in the action here. So uh, you're heading down a little ways, but it looks like kind of was a lot more to get down to the uh, engineering bay. Uh, what do you want to do, Onyx? I mean, uh, just just keep trying to make my way through. Right. Give um, me another engineering test. Let's see if you can figure out like the layout of this ship. It's a custom built ship. You're more trying to figure out the logic of the of the engineering of it versus like knowing like the layout of it. 11 and a 2 on the drama. 11 and a 2 on the drama. That's going to fail. Uh, did you get any 1s on anything? No. Uh, I got, um, do I get a 1? I did get a 1. You know, if you want to push to a 6, you could you could pass. Or, yeah. Sorry, or if you want to push the 2 to a 5, you could, but yeah. 2 to a 5. Or 2 to a uh, 6, is gonna be, yeah, you, that, would, that would succeed. You need an extra 5 yeah. to succeed. But that would be my drama die. My drama that's very die expensive, yes. Yeah. I well, push the, push the 1 to a 5. That's, that's only 5 points. Okay, I'll do that. Or the one, oh, sorry, the one, yeah, the one to a five, yeah, you'd be good. Okay, so you do that, so you get a, and you had a uh, two on the drama die. Um, so yeah, you go ahead and uh, you start, you, you start making further way down towards the, the real like guts of the ship. Um, Jackrabbit, you're, uh, you're kind of coming through here. Um, you start looking at like, you start seeing some like uh, schematics of the ship too, like, like, like little maps uh, for the, the, People that are busy on the ship and so actually there's some staff members here and there uh, everybody's kind of panicking uh what do you want to do to try to like get through the ship or find more information or what sounds good to you i mean i think that's just i mean i think we're just trying to get there right like we're just oh. trying to get there I, I feel like that's the like number one thing i'm just keeping an eye out making sure we're not going to run into anybody else with weapons okay. give me a give me a perception uh seeing test Ten. Okay. Yeah, you're you're going through and like it's not. Um, you you come to an area where there is a very large crowd. Um, it looks like the way you need to go, but there are people like packed. Um, okay. I'm just gonna grab somebody and just like grab him and be like, "Hey, we need to get to the engineering area." Uh, like, pointed out on the map there. He's like, it's just way to go. They're in the back. We're, he's like, they close. They started closing on the doors once the once the ship started going off. Are you are you guys here to rescue us? Yeah, we're here to go to the engineering. They sent yeah. us up here to help with that. You gotta show us the way, man. Just just show us the way. And we'll I, I don't I don't work here. I, I don't work here. You're gonna have to figure it out yourself. I, I mean, Mr. Pope well, would know. Engineering is on your own ship. I shove him out of the He's way. He's like, I'm. Know, I was a guest. Start yelling. <laughs> engineering. Who knows where engineering um, is? Is there a way to pull up like schematics? I mean. Yeah, give me a give me a security test. Intel security. Okay. Just curious if I can use my terminal. All right. So why, why we're letting people into? I want to keep an eye out for Pope. Make sure he's. Okay. Yeah, he's not. You can have the the the, the thing Claire pick him up on a facial recognition if he pops in. What'd you get, Onyx? Uh, 14, two fours, and a four on the drama. Um, you start pulling up the schematics of the ship, and like it is, like it looks like they've locked down the back. The ship's gone into a full lockdown due to the cap the the really bad damage it's sustained. Um, you don't know if you can even get to engineering without like a blowtorch or explosives or something like that. But you do notice one thing of interest, and that is the uh, executive quarters. Uh, specifically, yeah. one that's like li like a whole floor of this place is like labeled exclusively for Mr. Pope. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Everything's on lockdown, but maybe uh, maybe we could find. Hey, look at this, Jack Rabbit, and I show her the executive floor. Maybe we could get up to here, 
somehow we could get into the area or we could find something i don't know let's let's go let's go to this executive floor and find where maybe pope is there maybe he can unlock the, the override the ship or we could find somebody who can is that what you think man that, i mean because I, I yeah they got they got everything on lockdown i don't know we just, can't even get through but all i know and i just checked my like whatever the time is you know yeah. we only have a few hours to stop the engineering thing so i'm i'm kind of looking at you like okay man but we don't have that much time left if we talking to him we could all just go into luna and then that's the end of things you know yeah but i can't i can't get through i can't get through the uh the doors without a blowtorch or explosive we got none of that um and then i but... just like show the little grenade that i've got in my pocket <laughs> not that kind of grenade <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe we could get down there, and I could, I could try to, um, like, make something, um, make type of explosive. But I don't uh, know if we have this. If you the right think stuff. it's Pope, man, then, then maybe that's what. Yeah, we're doing. let's just let's go up to the uh, executive. It doesn't look like it's locked down, but maybe we could find something there. Maybe there's an access code. Maybe there's some. There's and I'm gonna just go. uh, dial into to Myrtle uh, and just say, hey, I don't know what happened in there. Uh, look like engineering closed off, but uh, Onyx is fine where, where Pope is. Uh, we, uh, he thinks that's the way to go and just send it to her. I'm sending it to you just in case you got any ideas or maybe anybody there know how to get into engineering. Maybe you can find out for us. Yeah, are there any uh, like crawl spaces or air ducts? We got a helpful, uh, helpful ch uh, advice in the chatter. You All right. I will have the calm presence just like the calming with the coffees and everything. It's just like, hey, is anybody crew or does anybody here know where the engineering might be on the ship? Uh, there's some people going like, like, yeah, the engineering's down, but it's gonna be locked down right now due to the due to the, the damage they're gonna have it set up. But like, we gotta we gotta we gotta disengage the ship. We gotta we gotta break off, take this thing out. Let's get let's get out of here. Why are we why are we staying with the the princess? If this well, princess keeps flying, it's going right into Luna. Wow. Well, the more reason to, to, dis, to disengage the ship. Let's go. Come on, guys. Like, you know, this guy's like getting a little antsy about it. And I'll put my hand on the shoulder. like, calm down right now. We will be leaving shortly. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> ah. Please take uh, your seat. Six. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. He's, he's like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, but we gotta make it soon. Come on, like, we don't have much time oh, left. Yeah, I, we, we totally will. If you just have any other ways that you might know, or if anybody knows any other ways to get to engineering, because we don't want the ship to, oh, maybe like explode while we're trying to go away, right? So we want to make sure it's all safe. Would you go to drama on that one for? Um, that would be a six. Six, okay, very nice. So yeah, one, of, one someone goes, hey, hey, uh, for engineering, we all bounced on that. We got we got the order to leave. I uh, wasn't sure if there was a radiation leak or whatever, but uh, I can we can give your guy access if he wants. Well, that would be public. We just we just want to be as safe as possible as we try to get you guys back to Luna. Yeah, and like he like goes over and uh, he beats some code off of his off his data pad to you. You can forward over to Onyx. Yep. I'm like, bleep, 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 bleep. All right. Uh, so it looks like you have a little bit better access. You, so you have a pretty even line to either to either it looks like either Pope's quarters or to engineering. I mean, just like I showed. Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, we, gotta right. go. Just, right. we we get it off course, then we could go through Pope's room all we want. All right, give me a um. Uh, hey, uh, Wyatt and I just call it in. We go into engineering. I don't want Pope to to get away again. I don't know if you got ideas, but I'm leaving that part in your hands for now. Just make sure he don't get off the ship, okay? Uh, and then I'm chasing after Onyx. Uh, give uh, Onyx, give me a um, give me a pick a test that you want to use to try to navigate the ship. Um, I mean, can I use navigation? Oh, yeah. Can I use <laughs> navigation? Sure, I'll let you use navigation and I'll let you use technology. Give me the, both those. So plus four. Big roll, biggest roll. It's four, okay, let me see. Sixteen and okay. a five on the drama. Very nice, sir. Very nice. Fourteen oh. and a six on the drama. Can you push that to a fifteen? Yeah. Uh yes, I can. And would you go to the drama die? Six. 
Very nice. You guys are. Yeah. Oh, you guys now. You guys are cooking. All right. So you you manage to get down to engineering. Uh, it takes a little bit of a second. You know, you guys kind of like uh, navigate your way through it and using the codes you've gained, get down to uh, the office. It's completely abandoned down here. Um, as you're kind of standing there, uh, there, there's it looks like there was a few maybe like damages down here. Like there's like a like a pair of bodies in the room. Uh, where some parts like kind of blew out that might have uh, hurt them from the feedback from the, the upstairs, but they are definitely um, uh, not. They're definitely out. We'll say. Uh, what do you want to do, uh, Jack Rabbit and Onyx? I mean, I want to start seeing if I can start wiring or um, getting into the system where I can start to get it either to slow down or to like turn its course or change give me the, a give me an intel so so it looks like you have to get access to the system first uh so go ahead and give me a technology test all right plus four tech. oh right triple threes uh so i got uh nine plus four 13 but i got all threes and you get a 15 16. okay so okay wait plus four nine 13 okay i'll put it two more uh two more all right all right. got some, uh, can you get any fortune back with those? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can get back like three fortune, yeah. Oh, I'll take um, it. <laughs> so, you, so you go and start kind of getting through the network here a little bit. Uh, Jack, what do you want to do while he's doing this? Uh, I ask him, like, uh, I'm good at, I'm good with my hands. I got some engineering training from when I was a kid. Tell me what to do. Um, there's, like, systems on the walls that are, like, kind of damaged. Uh, I mean, Jack, I might be able to fix those up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I start pointing at that. All right. uh, Jack, uh, give me an intelligence engineering test. Okay, right. I don't want to die on this That's yard. an 11, but I will burn some fortune. You need to make it at least a 13. Um. Okay, yeah, I'll burn three. Okay, and what'd you get on the drama die? A one. Okay, uh, you, you guys keep on making a little bit of progress there. Um, as you guys are going at this, uh, you... Ooh, you hear like the the air recyclers in the room. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. You don't hear the air recyclers in the room. This sounds like they they kind of were to a stop. No. Oh. There's still air in the room. You guys, I mean, the room yeah. room's got plenty of air just for two of you. Um, but the air recyclers themselves, the scrubbers, have stopped working. Um, well, that ain't right. a good sign. So, some systems are shutting off or something. I don't hear the hum. Um, Onyx, give me another computer test. Four. <laughs> yeah, drama for myself. That was a good like, sound. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that was a really good okay, sound. So, uh, let's see, 10, 17, and a 6 on the drama. Very nice, sir. Nice. All right, so you you go ahead and start making progress into cracking into the system and figuring it out. It's a whole custom system. That's what's throwing you off. This isn't like some standardized system. It's overly done, like, top down. But you're definitely starting to get access to the system a little bit better uh, in terms of making sure you can actually get in there. Uh, Jackrabbit, there's still more to repair in terms of these, like, you know, making sure everything's a little easier and ready to go when the, when, once uh, you can regain control of the engineering. Uh, making our engineering test. Ooh. Suck. That was terrible. Two, four, five plus four, that's a nine. You get a 13 uh, to succeed. Yeah, I will burn some. Oh. Um, sorry, what do I got? What do I got? What do I need? Four more, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I will do four. That'll give me doubles. I don't know if that does anything. You can get some. You can get like fortune back really easily. And then what do you get on the drama okay. die? A two. Two. Okay. You make a little more progress. And you notice uh, as the air scrubbers have come off though. The airflow is still in the room though. There's still like air, kind of like like ventilation going on. Um, you not, you start noticing these like weird, like blue sparkles start kind of like like almost like uh we've been told snow kind of start falling out of like the air vents uh, <laughs> uh, it's not good onyx there's not like a lot I'm of them good. there's like a few of them and the you see one of them you see one of them start like uh kind of float and like they start like lands on one of the bodies on the floor oh, shit. keep that body keep that stuff away from me <laughs> Yeah, hurry right. up, hurry well, up, we gotta get faster. out of here. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the recyclers back on. All right, goes to um, Onyx, uh, you keep on trying to crack into the system. Yeah, oh man, Do big it. rolls, big rolls. Okay, plus four, come on. 
the rolls. Oh, Jesus. Almost fell off. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, let see. That's four plus four is eight. Eleven, and I got two twos. You need, a, you need a 15 to succeed. Okay, so 11. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll put five in, so. And I got two twos, so I get to recover. Two, yeah. Okay. Okay. What did you get the drama die then? Uh, I got a two on the drama, though. Okay. So almost rolls are stressful. All, almost there, man. So yeah, you, you're 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 like on the breach of it. You think like you might be able to do this in the next few uh, next few minutes. Um, Jack Rabbit, you're standing there and like you see the you see this like, little blue flex like kind of in the air. It's really weird, kind of hit these guys. Like it's like some sort of weird thing in the. You don't know if it's like a confetti or whatever the hell they have. It ain't confetti. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so, but you, you keep on repairing some of these systems, uh, or do you want to keep on repairing the systems, or do you want to do something else? Yeah, I do. I want to keep repairing the systems. All right, give me, a, give me another one here. Three sixes. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, I want to get some fortune back, and uh, whatever else can happen with that. Yeah, you. I'll, I'll give you some acceleration on this, too. I'll let you kind of, like, uh, burn into it. So you actually, like, you, you may start putting, these, like, these pipes and these systems back together so the, uh, that when the system does come online, it'll be more responsive, basically, is what, what you're doing. Um, he can put the system online, but it's not going to be very responsive, but this one will help it out a lot. Um, as you stand there, uh, you notice that, like, this blue stuff that's kind of landing these guys, it seems to be, like inserting itself into their skin, like slowly kind of spreading. You kind of see these like black marks on their skin uh, moving through the back of their necks uh, along with, like their arms and spines um, at a kind of accelerated rate. Like it's like really almost like it's like I could be growing to them. Whatever you're doing, Onyx, they starting to look like those people you uh, liquidated back there. We better hurry. Sean, all right. All right, yeah. Onyx, go. All right, plus four. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, Oh yeah, okay, so that's a, okay, so uh, 10, 17, a 5 on the drama. Not a problem. You've managed to pull up the controls for the, the, the ship. The ship is now, you can now issue com commands to the ship, but uh, you do know that like uh, you need to repair the engineering elements a little bit more uh, to get full command. Uh, but you can certainly buy your guys some time, but you can't like deviate completely from the uh, trajectory. Air recyclers on, I don't know. Whatever um, I got the... You can try the next turn. Ready. You can try the next turn. All right, goes to uh, Jack Rabbit, trying to right. get the pipes working. Let's do it. Oh, man. That would be a 12. Mm -hmm. I'm going to- One more. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna push up the drama die. Okay. Which was a one to a two. Okay, so that's four points. Yep. And so that gives you a chill drama. Die. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, uh, you're almost there. Like you, 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 you have one last pipe that's just giving you enough enough shit to do it. Um, as you guys stand there, one of the bodies starts to kind of like twitch and move a little bit. Um, and you can see its arms like starting to kind of flap around a little bit uh, in kind of a weird motion. Uh -oh. uh, it goes to uh, I have uh, Onyx. You're standing there, and you can see Jack Rabbit's trying to get this last thing working. You want to try to help her out? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go oh, for it. Hurry, hurry engineering it. test. All right, plus four. Come on. Do it. Oh yeah. Oh my god. All right. So that is uh, twenty. I got two sixes and a four nice. on the drama. Okay. Nice. You managed to get the ship. The ship looks like it's, it's back online. Most of the thrusters are working again. Uh, you can now start uh, piloting the ship from here. It's not an easy piloting, but you can do it. It's not as great for being on the bridge, but it can be done. Oh, uh, how much can I recover from that, fortune-wise? Uh, a max of three is what you can do. Okay. Uh, one for one. Yeah. Uh, Jackrabbit, you're sitting there, and like you can see like the big the screens there with like the piloting setup and everything like that too. It's not like it being in a cockpit, but it's more of like a um, mm -hmm. uh, like kind of programming thing. Uh, what do you want to program the ship to do? Um, this is in terms of piloting it, or like you would be a, this, is, this is a this is a pilot test. But what do you want to tell it to do? Uh, I, I don't think I understand. You have control of the ship. Where do you want to have it go? Oh, I just want it to move out of the way of the Luna, like just a kind of hard right wherever okay. else out of. You want to go? Do you want to go out of the? Do you want to go out of the elliptical of like the orbits, starting to just basically like here's like here's yeah, like the orbit and go up. Away from away okay. from like civilization. Okay. Give me a give me a piloting test. Let's see if you can get that. Towards the sun. Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh please! I don't want to get crystallized. That's a fifth. 
15. That is a 15. <laughs> yep. 15. 15, okay. Yeah, you managed to get the ship uh, correct its course and you push it out of the, you're pushing it out of the elliptical. Uh, you guys feel a big lurch. I need um, everyone here uh, to make a stamina test. Oh, boy. I'll see you a stamina test. Okay. Don't forget you have a minus three, Wyatt. Yeah. Is stamina? Yeah, constitution stamina, yeah. Six. That's a failure. <laughs> Fine. Uh, What'd you get, Jackrabbit? Um, 16. Yeah, you're good. 13. 15. Okay. So those of you that pass, uh, you'll take half of this. Uh, so the whole, the whole, you guys can feel the whole structure of this thing like lurching, like you can hear the steel like kind of screaming. The Sinclair is getting spun with this whole thing as like Jack Rabbit throws it like in a hard, hard shift. Um, everyone would is going to take thirteen fortune damage, uh, but you guys have it half because you guys made your check. Those that made your check, uh, so you take six fortune damage. Uh, Why it gets knocked unconscious. Um, as he's uh, being thrown about as a ragdoll here in the cargo bay with the rest of the uh, people. Um, big yeah, big time. All right. Um, goes to uh, Jackrabbit and uh, Onyx. The two of you are staying there, and the ship cars moving. The, the, uh, you guys managed to hold on decently, but you can see that the where you where you've moved it, um, the bodies that were on the ground are like in a different orientation and are kind of partially standing up now. Uh, and it looks like they're actually like moving around, trying to like navigate in, in the weird in the weird G forces. Blast that thing, I'll use that stun gun, let's get out of here. Yeah. Uh, are they like looking aggressive? Like is, they they're kind of, they're they're kind of, they're kind of, right at us, like, no, they're, they're kind of, they're kind of, they're, 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 they're kind of standing there. Between you and the doorway, and they're kind of like they kind of like their eyes kind of keep on dashing around, and they eventually it's occasionally they kind of stop on you, but they kind of keep on just kind of lurching around like uh, barely standing up. Get out of here, Onyx. Yeah, they're standing, in, they're standing in the doorway. <laughs> oh, they're in the doorway. Yeah, they're between you and the door. Of course. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, and then I'm shoot, then I'm shooting one of them. All right, give me give me a roll and attack roll. Hold your breath. Uh, Should have turned the air recyclers on. <laughs> That's a 14. Not a problem to hit. Uh, roll damage on that. It's a 2d6 plus your perception. Uh, that is a 6. 6? Yeah. Okay. Um, you manage to, like, injure one of them. You put a shot through him, and, like, like he's, like, bleeding. You can kind of see the blood's coming out, but also, like, a, like a black ichor. And it seems to be more like interested, more interested in you now than it was previously. Uh, goes to Onyx. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna shoot the one that is more interested in Jack. I'm just gonna focus on. The okay, go for it. Give me, give me a yeah, roll shot at it. So plus one. Okay, accuracy. Oh yeah. Oh man. All right. So that is uh, 13. I'll hit no problem. Okay. They're not hard to hit. They're pretty. They look like they're pretty lumbering. Pretty good. 2d6 plus one. Oh. Oh, I got 12, 13. Nice. Okay. Yeah. You, you pop this one in the head and it just it kills over under the, the thrust gravity. The other one does lurch forward, though, and goes after Jackrabbit. Shit. Jackrabbit, here we go. It tries to just kind of like uh, back you. Uh, Jackrabbit, you got an 11 to hit. I don't think that's higher than your D. What's your defense? Like, that's like pretty high, isn't it? Seen. Yeah, it takes a swipe at you and you just kind of like deck out of the way. It's not even like really, it's not even like really trying to hit you. It's just kind of like trying to like, like smack you slightly. Uh, it goes to Jackrabbit. What do you want to do? You're like right next to this thing. Can I just get around it? Yeah, you can try like, to run around him. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think I'm doing. I I think I'm just like I don't know what the hell this is, Onyx, but we gotta get out of here. And we I should have go... in the way. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Onyx, you can do the same thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. You guys come into like a um, a hallway here by engineering. And as the door opens up, the, the way you guys came through, um, you can see there's like another like four of these things down the hallway between you and where you guys need to go. Um, each one's kind of like slowly kind of lumbering or walking towards this direction. Stun gun, stun grenade time. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, we do have that <laughs> picked in my pocket. <laughs> do you want? To we gotta run. We out. We gotta get out of here. Then in the way. I don't know. We shoot our way out, or we, we stun them. Yeah, use the grenade. Use the grenade. All 
Alright, so you're gonna toss the okay, go for it. Uh, throw the give me um this is an I think this is an accuracy test on this to do it. Right. Uh it's like yeah, just roll accuracy grenade, but I don't think it has grenades. That's a nine. Okay. You throw the grenade and it, it deviates a little bit off. Um, instead of being able, you only hit one of them with it, but like it kind of like throws the thing around. It's kind of like over. It looks like it's overstimulated. It doesn't seem to like really like affect its eyes. It's not like screaming and stuff like that. And then I'm like kinda, they're maybe kind of moaning a little bit, but it's just kind of like all everywhere around. Um, uh, you start moving. You start moving down the hallway. Onyx, what do you want to do? Um, I'll follow her unless I can, unless one of them is in my way. Like, They're all like in your way in various capacities, but you might be able to like run past them or something like that too. Although you do kind of risk then getting overwhelmed by them. Uh, okay, I, I, I'll shoot one. Okay. I'm gonna have to fire at one. All right. Oh god. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah, ten. I got two twos. Okay. Um, you 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 fire the one and it hits it no problem. Uh, roll damage on it. Can I do extra damage with the? Yeah, sure. Yeah, extra, uh, you do extra one d six, huh? 13. Yeah, not a problem. You take the thing's head clean off. They're yeah, not, they are not. They all seem to be really reacting to the combat. They don't seem to even understand that you have a gun at them. Like, they're just kind of dead in the eye. This black stuff kind of glow, growing along. Some occasions have like a little bit of blue tint in their eye. That's about all you can really see. It's weird about them. But yeah, shoot them in the head, Jackrabbit, and just run! Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, what do you do, Jackrabbit? I'm shooting it in the head and then running, like okay. my friend said. Alright, give me a like... well, the shot. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. That's uh, 11, <laughs> 17, 16 plus six. Yeah, I got no. doubles on the five, so I'm gonna nice. take three fortune back and do an extra damage. Okay, yeah, so roll three six now to uh, your perception to it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Fourteen. Yeah, you just fucking blow those things head clear off. They have, they don't. Uh, these things cannot take you're damage. You're right about the head. You're <laughs> right about the head. And I'm running. It's like what it's like fighting these things at target practice, like like at a range. It reminds you of what you're doing with, with Wyatt back in the cargo bay, but it's more like um, like they're not even really reacting. It's, it's like when you pull a gun on someone, you're used to them kind of freezing up or moving a little bit. These things don't seem to even acknowledge that at all. If we built a loader, we got the survival instinct. We um, shoot our way the out. Uh, the the other two though, the other two you have to take the heads off of uh, approach you. Uh, and begin trying to like, uh, kind of like slap at you a little bit here, uh, Onyx. That one, well, he did really bad. The other one, uh, takes a sweep, he misses as well. They both like, they're both kind of like coming at you and like blocking the way now, uh, right next to you and such. Uh, goes to Onyx, uh, what do you want to do? I mean, is it still clear or do I feel like I need that? You, you, they're on you, like they're eating okay, up the hallway. Yeah. But they're yeah. point, do you want to back off first and shoot or do you want to try to get yeah. past? I'm going to kind of back off a little bit and get some Okay, give me, fire. yeah. All right, uh, that is another 10. 10 will hit. Whew, oh God. They're not hard to hit. Yeah. Like they're shocking these. Was... Okay, that's a seven. Seven, okay. Your shot hits them. Uh, it's still standing, uh, but barely. Um, it looks like it like, has a gaping wound, like a major part of its like, body's missing, but it's still standing there. Uh, dead eye. It's still going. Yeah. Still got some life in them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a jackrabbit's turn. Taking the shot. Yeah, do it. Fourteen. Not a problem. Uh, you put the other, you put the one down that that Onyx is firing on without issue. Nice. Um, the last one's staying there, and he's gonna try. He he keeps on trying to like like he's gonna try to come like he's trying to like stop you, like trying to talk to you or something like that's what it seems like. Um, and he got a thirteen to hit you, Onyx. Does that hit? Uh, it's my new defense is thirteen. You need, okay. Oh no, I'm bringing something back on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so he goes up and he kind of like uh, go, kind of goes to like kind of touch you a little bit, kind of less like it's almost like like someone trying to like stop you to get directions or something. Um, but then like as he does, like you hear like this weird gurgle and he vomits on you. Oh, oh. Um, I need you to make a Constitution tolerance test. Okay. You gotta get that checked oh. out, man. <laughs> That's right, my plus, specialty as a big drunkard. Plus four. I got plus two on tolerance. Oh, man. All right. Plus four. All right. Come on. Come on. All right. Uh, four, eight, uh, 12, 13, and a three on the drama. What did you get total? 13. 13. Okay. Out of fortune <laughs> because of what we had okay. before. All right. You got 13, you said? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. So this thing pukes on Onyx. Onyx, ah. it's, it's your turn. All right, I'm just gonna yeah step back and just take it out. That's supposed to stay inside you, man. Uh, fourteen, two fives. Two fives. You hit no problem. Give me damage on that. I'm a, can I get um do uh, fortune back on that? Yeah, you can get up to three fortune on it. Yeah. All right, so nine points of damage. Okay. Um. Yeah, you just compl- you you shoot back in the face where its mouth is open, still dribbling. Uh, goo comes everywhere around the walls. It's just all spread out. Um, Do I feel weird? <laughs> you you feel like you kind of like like you feel kind of gross, like like someone because someone puked on you. Yeah. Um, but as far as like other weird feelings goes, you're not so sure. Okay. Well, I gotta get on the ship, man. I gotta get on the ship. Gotta get this stuff off me. Just like freaking. Okay. Yeah. Um. Running. All right, you guys start moving back. Um, coming on back. You get back to the, uh, the Sinclair, and um, there's like probably about like 50 people, like cargo base packed there. You don't see White anywhere. Um, you see Myrtle there as you come on in. Uh, Myrtle, you sent Wyatt back to the med bay. Uh, there's like some people trying to take care of him, uh, seeing if they can patch him back together or not. Uh, that big shift like threw him around and like uh, opened up his wound and like re. Uh, unset his leg and all this stuff. Um, but Jackrabbit and uh, Onyx are back. Onyx looks like pretty bad. Like, uh, you can kind of see, like, um, he's uh, kind of sweating a little bit. Looks a little rough. I'm gonna go straight to the med bay and just start injecting myself with it. <laughs> and he, like, there, okay. do we have a we, do we have a decontamination yeah. area? No, well, it's called an airlock. <laughs> yeah, don't do me like I did those. Oh, yeah, don't do me like I did those people on the, on the lab, man. Man, uh, I'm like sliding into the piloting seat, pushing people out of the way, going, "Whatever we gotta do, we gotta get out of here." There's some weird shit happening. People well, yeah, get you. Crazy. Well, someone's like, "This is the rest of your crew, uh, Cooper. Why don't you? Why don't we just get out of here? Let's get out of here. Come on, come on. Everybody, get on the ground." And they were just laying down on the ground where they can, where they're not on a crash couch. Trying to get ready to like for the the burn or whatever it is. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, yeah just gonna do a, a broadcast. It's like, you know, hold on to something, everyone. Here we go. All right. So everybody kind of gets on it, and you guys dislodge from it. No problem. You you burn off, and the the uh, Victoria's going off off in the ways. Um. It was buckled down, right? Yeah, you were in the mid bay. Yeah. You were in the mid bay crash couch. Yeah. You, so you guys are kind of like. Uh, zooming off into out, out of space, you can see the print, the the things that the ships is kind of going off there uh, on, a, on a steady burn away from Luna. Um, Onyx, you get down to engineering and like um, you uh, start seeing like roll 2d6 real quick for me. Uh, six. What's your constitution? Uh, constitution is two. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys start burning. Where, where do you guys want to go? I'm feeling like we're by Luna and we got a whole bunch of people. Yeah. So it seems like that's where we're going. And I'm just saying, little better call you dead. Tell him we got people here and we coming in. Okay. Yeah. I will uh, call dad and just say, hey, we're coming in hot. Blah 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 blah. We don't know what happened. This is really gross. Yeah, he's like, he's like, hey, listen, like, it, he's like, so yeah, it, it, this is gonna be rough. Like, did you just, Arrow's just crashed into Venus. What? What? <laughs> yeah, I just crashed into Venus, avoided the Earth and hit hit Venus. I, I, That's good. Knows? Better than Earth, I guess. Listen, yeah. um, yeah, your 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 people, uh, well, that's great. Uh, I don't know what the hell Pope was thinking. Uh, or where he is, or what's going on with him, but uh, whatever he's up to is no good. I, I'll, I'll I'll let some people know about that base, and, and we'll we'll send a crew out there to, to clean it up and everything. Um, he's like, well, I'm glad you're safe. Are all your friends safe? Uh, looks like it. Looks like we're, we're we all made it out okay, and then we've got like 40 people with us. That's good. That's good. No, that's better than none. All right. Well, I'll catch you in the I'll catch you in the Lavelle docks when you guys when you guys settle down. Uh, look, I, I gotta go take this stuff in. People, are, everyone's calling. Everyone's asking for what thoughts are on their call. The old brass, everything. Uh, you, 
He's like, look, I, I, he's like, I, I told you, I, I, I told you, Myrtle, from the get go, you, you're a born leader. There are people need you. Don't you got to stick around? This is the kind of stuff you, you're that you're made for. Thanks, Dad. I really right. appreciate that. All right, Jackrabbit, you're kind of yeah. pulling the. Sh yeah, I wanna What's up? Check out Onyx. Like okay. as we're there, like I imagine it's like put it on a bit of auto. Like going to check. Yeah, it you out. guys put on a, on a very steady burn because just don't have enough crash couches to compensate for everybody. You put on a steady like you know quarter G burn uh, back toward Luna. Uh, Onyx is down in, down in uh, engineering, in the machine shop kind of area, kind of by himself. Uh, Wyatt's on the outs, uh, pretty much unconscious. Although some of the, it looks like some people have medical training, so they're trying to help him out a little bit here and there. You go on down to see Onyx. Um, as you come in there, you see Onyx is kind of drinking a little bit, uh, yeah. and uh, you can see around his mouth is like these black tendrils growing along his face. That's just my mustache. Just <laughs> That's an oil mustache. Yeah. Oh no! Is there anything I know oh, to do no. to help this in my my little my medic training and I, training that I have? Like what whatever I whatever that thing done? that like whatever that thing that um hope had those guys infected with, you're pretty sure Onyx is infected with whatever got those guys back up and trying to attack you. Onyx is infected with. And yeah, I just need more motor oil. I'm just like searching for motor oil. Just like and I just tell him, I think that's right. I think that's gonna work, man. You just eat that motor oil. You just Sorry. eat that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna like pat him on the on the shoulder. I'll like kind of pat Wyatt. I'll go up to Myrtle and I'll go. Um, actually, real quick before you leave, Onyx, can you make a willpower self discipline test? Oh shit. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, what's what's willpower under? Uh, willpower is willpower. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't even see. I never. I've never used that one. <laughs> <laughs> I never used willpower. Okay, all right. Uh, oh man. Okay. So I got a ten, but I got two threes and a three on the drama. You as as you're talking as like uh, oh, no. Jack was talking to you. Um, you, you'd feel like this, this kind of like, like, like she's placating you. Like she's not being real and straight with you. Like you feel angry about it. Like openly angry at what is it. it. What are you not telling me, man? What is it? Come on. Tell me. Do I, what, do I got it? That thing bossed on me, man. Tell me, tell me. I'm, 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 am I affected with that stuff? As you're, as this is going on, uh, Jack Rabbit, he starts approaching you, like almost unconsciously approaching, getting closer and closer to you. Yeah, and I'm like ducking out of the way, being like, hey man, I don't know anything. I'm not a doctor. They just told me to treat the wounds. You sit back in the chair, man. And I'm just like, duck, just kind of avoiding, ducking, kind of moving toward the door and like. The ladder, yeah. So you, you yeah. so you start like, uh, you, you kind of just clamber up the ladder actually pretty quick. Uh, and uh, you hear Alex on the screen kind of screaming at you, like, what's going on? Um, and I immediately call up Myrtle. Yeah. Myrtle, we got a problem, man. We got oh, well, a problem at Onyx. Uh, whatever that stuff is, uh, that, that we didn't even get a chance to tell you. They did they, they, one of those creatures. It put some. It just. It like threw up some stuff, and he now now he down there with Wyatt and all those people. He acting crazy. Okay. Uh, you mean like the people that we had to liquidate? This is what I'm saying, man. We shouldn't have done that to them because what are they were like us, right? That was like, it's fate, man. This will happen. He pushed the button. He the one who pushed that button, and now he the one who got it. Okay. <laughs> come, on. Um, <laughs> come on. Okay, calm down. Come back up here. Okay. And we'll talk. Okay. We can't leave him down there, though. Wyatt down there. Well, why it's why it's actually the the med bay is on above the cargo bay, the car below the cargo bay's machine shop and the engineering bay. I'm gonna okay. go hug Wyatt. Open your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna go mouth hug Wyatt. Yeah. But he's he's in there with other people though, right, John? Uh, no, he's in there by himself. He's in no oh, one else with engineering. Yeah. You guys have people in oh, cargo in cargo okay. bay. You guys have people in the galley. You have people kind of in med bay, and then by the um, uh, the the barracks, and then you have like the off stations, the off limits. So you have a, you have a pretty good spread of people. Uh, 
I'm gonna just tell Murda. I think we gotta lock him in engineering just for a minute, man. Just you, until we know he's all right. You you also could evacuate the air in engineering too. No way, man. We not doing anything like that. Don't you mention things like that, Myrtle. Don't you dare. <laughs> Well, I think for now, um, I think locking him in, um, I mean, we could just be honest and see if we can lock him in his quarters, because we may have to get into engineering at some point. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe that's not a bad idea. We, uh, yeah, I don't know. But we have to make sure that he doesn't touch anything or anyone, so... I don't know. Um, so I'm going to kind of loop Wyatt into this discussion. Okay, Wyatt's, Wyatt's quasi-conscious. Yeah. He's quasi-conscious. So, hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing happened on the way to Luna. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll ju we'll just do a quick overview. Yeah. But still keeping calm. You know, so we can keep Jackrabbit calm and we can keep Wyatt calm. And... Um, not tell any of the passengers. Not tell any of the passengers. So uh, it's just like this is our situation right now, and I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what we can do. We can either leave Onyx there um, in engineering, or we can try to get him to go to his quarters and we lock him in there. Or the brig. Yeah, or the brig. If I'm able to move, I want to go see him. Yeah, you can get on up. Uh, you can you can kind of get up. You can pull up the cameras down there, too. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. All right, you pull up the camera, and you can see him down there. Um, you can see, you see him, like, talking to himself and, like, drinking motor oil and talking to himself. You see him, like, like uh, at some point throw a wrench into the wall. Like, he's, like losing it whatever's going on with him down there and you can see like occasionally when you get a glimpse of his, of his face you can see these like tendrils are kind of growing around out of his face and stuff um there's like some blue weird tinge to his eye i think i think he might be too far gone yeah, what are you saying you're saying we got to take out a friend i don't want to do it just like he was one of those people down in those little box cages just like he was an experiment, not like a, not like a barata. Is that what you're saying? We can't have that spread through the, the whole ship. No, we can't have it spread to Luna. I don't want to do it, but kind of got to do what's uh, best for everybody, not just us. I'm gonna like dial into that room and just right. be like, Onyx man, Onyx, can you hear me? Is yeah, that why still are you, you buddy? Why are you locking this room, man? Let me out. What's going on? Is that still you in there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Let me out. What's going on? What happened? That thing threw up on me. Do I got that stuff? Yeah, Am I aware uh, that I have you, you, you can, you kind of got a glimpse of yourself in the, in the monitor, and like you yeah. can see the, the stuff kind of growing on your face. You like, you pull back parts of your vac suit a little bit, and you can see it like growing on your skin. You can get like, and you start to get these like, they're like really like, um, like sloppy wet scabs. Oh, it's all over me. I know I got that stuff. Yeah, hey. I don't know. Hey, Onyx, is that you? I got a question for you, man. I got, I, I want to know what we should do here. It, you saw what the, uh, happens to people with that things like that. I mean, there's people here on Luna. Maybe there's a doctor there. Maybe they can help you. Maybe they turn you into lab rat or maybe you don't want that kind of life, man. I wouldn't want that kind of life, but I need you to tell me if it's okay, you know? Make a, make a willpower self-discipline chest right now, Onyx. Got two twos, nine, twelve, and a five on the drama. Um. Can I use fortune? Yeah, you want to burn fortune? <laughs> yeah, you can burn fortune. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna recover fortune and I'm gonna burn fortune. Um, how much would I need? I don't know. What do you want to get? 
Uh, okay, let's burn. Let's burn it all since okay. I'm on my. All right. I'm gonna add six, so that'll make it a fifteen. Okay. Um, you kind of get your conscience back, and you you realize that you're sick and like dying, and you can feel like whatever it is kind of burning behind you, and you are, you're kind of coming to a point where like like you lot like you're having thoughts like you know, uh, fuck these people, they don't know what what I want, they don't want to help me out, fuck this ship, like you know why if we hadn't helped those people, we should have blown the damn thing up. I mean, all this kind of stuff you should have done. You're going through. And you keep, and you start feeling like, um, like if, if it wasn't Jackrabbit trying to talk to you right now, you feel like you'd just be like, screw it, and you'd probably head down to the reactor. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know, Jack. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all me, and uh, I don't know, I don't know. We're about to load us. I, I'm glad you're talking to me, but. I don't, I can't, I don't think I can, I can stay like this, it's all me. I, I think it's, there's only one way. I don't want to be no lab rat, but uh, I, yeah, I, I, I think you should, you should do what you did to me, what we did to the people in the lab, because they ain't no care for this, or they're gonna just use me as a sample. And uh, I keep hearing things in my head. I might do something crazy. I might start breaking, fixing the shit. We should never went on there, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to. Yeah, I, I think uh, you should give me the at least if we can't space me proper way. I don't know. Just uh, I could just pour motor oil on myself and light it up. Oh man, this you told me like you told me about them on the ship, man. You said go for the head, right? Yeah, yeah. You, I'm, you should, you I'm should coming go. down there, man. Do I'm it. coming down there. Yeah, I just to say I had no family before, but you you all my family, but uh, it's okay. Just pay me on the ship hall or something. Yeah, I got you, man. Right. I got you. And eat burritos every day. All right. Yeah. So you go on down, Jackrabbit, and like uh, you come into the machine shop oh. and you can see like, uh, like you can see where he's been beating the walls and like there's some there's some scrapes and stuff smashed and stuff's not stowed away like it should be uh and Onyx is just kind of sit like kind of sitting in the, like near one of the the workbenches uh what do you want to do uh i already got my gun up okay. and on 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 him and i'm saying just like I, you know how i had i only had a titan and I had Kalesa, it sounded like she dead now. It was just us, man. You the best Barata uh, any belt I ever had. I love you, man. And I just oh. shot. All right. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you, you, you pop him in the head and he falls over and you can kind of see he dies. And you can see like like where like the stuff spread on his face, and uh, you're pretty sure it's, you can see where it's kind of coming up from underneath the splotchiness underneath his uh, persons and everything. Um, the only other question you have is how to get it. Like you could probably just pilot the ship and like take it easy, but getting them out of here, you're gonna probably want to wear vac suits and like go real high level contamination on this place. But you don't need anything down here right now. I imagine Jack Rabbit just like she just slumps like kind of on the other side of the thing, just has like uh this like gun that she's like learned how to shoot, like being with this crew of people. She just looking at it, uh and she just like she sends a tight beam to uh probably Kalesa, even though I know it's gone, right? I know my friend is gone, I know this person's gone. And I, uh, I just say, you know, I know you're gone too. Maybe you see in my friend Onyx up there, you would have liked him. And uh, I think I'm ready to go back in my ships again, man. I don't know how I got tied up in all this shit. I don't know if I'm meant for this. I don't, I don't know if this is me anymore. And uh, and I just like leave the gun down there and. Oh. Go up the stairs. Oh. As you come up, uh, people are kind of staring at you like, what the hell was that? Like, what was that gunshot? Uh, Myrtle, do you want to spin Don't a story? Don't worry about it. Do you want to spin a story? Walk past. <laughs> you walk past them. <laughs> and um, you lock the machine shop up, no problem. Um, 
you pile it back yeah, in. I'm just like oh. calming people down. Oh, it looks like maybe there was just a malfunction. Don't worry about it. We're fine. We're headed to Luna. It'll be fine. That was just backfire. <laughs> the morning, morning, yeah, 5 a.m. backfire. Just back, backfire. That's all. Yeah, I've seen backfire. Uh, yeah, you, you guys pile it back onto Luna and get people off on one of the, the orbiting stations. Um, figuring out your next steps on how to dispose of Onyx's remains, uh, how to clean the ship up, figure it out. Um, next contracts and everything. Oh, you can't even burrito me, dude. You really all... can't. They can't actually. Be a good way to and everybody. But you, um, you guys track the the princess, and essentially the princess then, or uh, the, the the princess Victoria Louise, uh, you lose track of it. It looks like it exploded, um, detonated. Uh, based on the, it wasn't the engineering. It looked like someone hit it with torpedoes. A lot of them. Someone got what they wanted from it and then scrapped the whole ship. But you survived. You managed to get off. Um, Sands your good brother Onyx. Um, a few weeks later, uh, checking the news feeds and such, it comes out that this thing is some sort of weird experiment, uh, supposedly done on belters. And it's unclear what it what it is exactly, but you suspect that whatever Onyx was exposed to was this too. And it's whatever it is is extraordinarily highly dangerous. And you kind of realize that you do kind of get some satisfaction, uh, Jack Rabbit, that you probably did the best thing you could, the most proper thing. Whatever he was in for afterwards would have been far, far worse. Um, some of the information that comes off. Um, Based on a station, there's there some there's some video going around of what was going on on Eros, and it was much much worse for those people than it was for Onyx. So you looks like you uh, you did him a favor. So you have that to go with. Uh, Wyatt, you recover. Myrtle, you you'll figure it out. But uh, you do know that the Sinclair will go on, and uh, you will have future endeavors. And that's it. I think that's that's a good place to kind of Oof. mellow out the, the evening. Yeah. Um, oh. There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I was going to die. All right. So. Man. Oh, that was rough. That was good, though. So, I'm over here, too. You've done me good. Yeah, well, but he'll, he'll never he'll never truly die. <laughs> he lives on YouTube now. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, the. um. Uh, we have a few announcements uh, before we do the giveaway tonight. Uh, please, once again, uh, there's the link for the giveaway. Please go ahead and enter in the word players to enter tonight to win the uh, cool little patch set. And then here's our Patreon, too, if you want to support us. But we got a few announcements, too. Uh, this is something we let our patrons know about early on, but we're going to let everybody else know tonight, and we're going to post it up here. Um, I got a few things. Number one is this cool thing that we are coming back with Abraxas Precipice year two on December 8th. December 8th, we will be back with uh, into the future of Abraxas Precipice of the, the expanse uh, thing on the backdrop of the Ganymede incident. Um, so we'll kind of catch up with the crew then. Um, in addition, and this is something we've been working on for a while now, uh, we, we've actually uh, we have been, uh, we had a lot of blue skies for the show when we started the things we thought we wanted to do. And one of the cool things we wanted to do was like, what if we got people that like work on the books, work on the show to come out and play with us, writers, actors, authors, uh, production, VFX people, whatever. Uh, but we did manage to actually uh, convince one person. Uh, it was very nice, but we have one uh, Patty Kim come to join us on December 8th. Uh, Patty Kim, uh, played in season four, uh, Carol Chewiwi, who was a major character, a pretty major character in the books, uh, the leader of the Belter settlement on Illus. Uh, but Patty will be coming to join us as Connie Chewiwi, Patty's twin sister, um, and everything. In addition with that game, um, oh, and here's a picture of uh, Patty as Carol Chewiwi as well. Uh, super cool, great, great uh, image. Um, but we will also be doing a, uh, that game will also be a charity game as well, uh, benefiting, and I forgot the name of it, uh, it's the Indian Reservation Survivors 
support services, I think. I, I can't really exactly, but some that effect. But the local charity that Patty chose uh, means a lot to her, and she wants to support that. And I was like, hey, absolutely, let's do that. So we're looking forward to raising some money for that. Um, so we'll be having an interactive stream where you can affect the dice rolls and have fun with it and the light. And we have some other cool stuff to put for the uh, people that donate and the like. But we'll have more details on that one uh, here in the coming weeks. Um, next week, uh, we had a reserve for a session, but we're not going to play. We're actually going to come back and hang out and talk about the sessions, talk about the expanse, geek out a little bit, take it easy and casual. Cause we, we talk a lot on our Discord, but we don't talk. <laughs> and there's a lot to talk about. And uh, it, uh, especially in the last uh, what, 20 minutes ago, uh, <laughs> a lot happened. Uh, but we're looking forward to that. So we come back on uh, December 8th. We have that game and we come back with a uh, year two of Abrax's Precipice on into the new year and such. Um, guys got any parting words before I pull a name for the uh, the giveaway tonight? Pour some motor oil out for me. <laughs> Man, yeah. Parting word is Onyx. That's the, that's the parting word. Damn. Now who will I come back as in year two? That's a good question. Yeah, who, who, will, who will I be in the future? Question's always a good question. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull a name for the uh, the giveaway here tonight. I got a few entries. I uh, think hit roll it, and we have our winner tonight is the Notorious. The Notorious. Thank you. It's a new follower, which is super cool. I appreciate it. So I'll be sure to talk to you and get your uh, get your information to get you these this cool cool pack set and the like. Uh, but we have a lot of cool stuff coming up. Year two is coming up here December 8th. And then next week, we'll be here to kind of geek out and just hang out and chat, OK? Uh, thank you everybody for watching tonight. It's super cool. We love doing this show. This was a great first arc. I, had, I hope you guys had a lot of fun with it. I um, hope the, the players had fun. hope the people at home had fun. Um, it's hard to believe, man. We've, we've put, the, you guys understand, we've recorded over like 50 some odd hours of yeah. Abrax's Precipice in just a few months. And that's like, I mean, that's a, I'm sorry, that's a big body of work. I survived 21 <laughs> episodes, 21 episodes that survived. Right? 22? 22. 21 and a half. 22. 21 and a half. Well, I guess 22 and a half if you count the, uh, if you count the right. bonus episode, which are available on our Patreon. All right. Um, I'm also realized I had to update the, the uh, I'll, be, I'll be a new name tag for you and everything too, but yeah, uh, Onyx, it was uh, nice knowing you. All right, I'll see, we'll see you guys uh, for uh, next week and, you guys have a good time. Later. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone.